Hello, hello. The sound. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, hey. We're talking about Koiba's butt. Nice. He has a good Not dumpy, really. to be fair. Koiba yeah, has a great bro. dumpy. Uh, hey, everybody. It's Sunday, and we're here. The, wow, we're missing a couple crazy. of people, but we're still here. We're going to play. Uh, we're here. I'm excited. We're Are we? Shatter, thanks so much for the 12 oh, months sub. Dude, that's a whole year. That's crazy. Uh, so as you can see by the title of the stream, I'm quickly just going to dive into this initial announcement. Is that the campaign has a name now. I was sick of addressing it as campaign too because it sucks. It doesn't have a nice ring to it. But in the last campaign, we kind of named Heroes of Exile after our The Adventuring Party. But since that naming convention isn't really doesn't really work, since A, the party hasn't really have an official name yet, and we're 38 sessions deep, and B, it's probably going to be something fucking offensive. So I decided to just name the campaign <laughs> Elements of Keldar, since that is like the big overlying theme of what this campaign is. So it will be Dungeon Select Elements of Keldar going forward instead of Campaign 2, because it has a better ring to it. I'm Smile? still going to call it Campaign 2, Smile. I mean, face. yeah, but like, at least it'll have, you know, for people that aren't assholes like you, Koiba. True. Um, so yeah, we're missing a couple of people. Uh, Laura isn't here because she had some family shenanigans to get to, I believe. James Family Hall. barbecue. Family barbecue, brother, <laughs> yeehaw. And uh, Duke's not here because his brother was visiting this weekend. And they haven't seen each other in a while, so he wanted to hang out with his yeah, brother. Back, so, though. But it's fine. Like a nut. Because Soko Both is here. Basic, both re cringe reasons to miss d and mm -hmm. But it's fine because Soko is here, and that makes up for a lot of it. To be fair, that's true. We miss you, I we miss you like Soko. People. You've been so busy lately, man. What the I was here the last one. Yeah, I know, but like just in general. The last one was also a month ago. That's not true. <laughs> it's like three years ago. That's like not this. true, dude. <laughs> we skipped two sessions, so it has actually been a month. Have we Shut two? up. Have we just yeah. One? Um, no, we skipped. We skipped uh, <laughs> TwitchCon one and then Dutchy Sicky one. That's, that's true. Right, that's that's true. Yeah, no, you're right. That's not true. This, 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 fuck, yeah, no. Dude, I got COVID, bro. It sucked, but I'm better now. Pog. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming dude, you. But holy don't fuck. Tell I am. Wrong, I've bitch. always been like, of the opinion of like, dude, I've been j double jabbed. COVID is like, it's just a flu, bro. Holy fuck. I have not felt that miserable in fucking years. Losing vision in my left eye a few years ago was less of a hassle than dealing with fucking COVID. Holy fuck, dude. It sucked. And the fucking shittiest thing as well is like, I was fine, right? I go to fucking Amsterdam on Friday to pick up my TwitchCon badge, and I'm like, dude, and I, I can't... I was having dinner with Opti and, and Baudi at a fucking restaurant, and I felt myself just suddenly, out of nowhere, bam, I just felt myself getting really fucking sick. Sort of coughing all of a sudden, fucking mad headache. So Opti gave it to you. Super fucking tired. And it's just like, over the course of like a, a couple hours, I just turned from nothing going on, everything great, to feeling fucking miserable. So I come, I come home, I come home to, this, oh. <laughs> to, to fucking, to, to, that open. with my TwitchCon bag packed, ready to go. I was supposed to crash at Opti's place that night, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to go home, sleep at home, and I'll, I'll meet you guys there tomorrow morning, whatever, right? I do a fucking COVID test the day after, positive. But uh, I know exactly where I got it because I went to a festival the weekend before. So some motherfucker there got me the coolies. Well, so there's a new strain that started coming out. So, but uh, it sucked. But Yay. I, didn't, I, I'm, I'm good now though. We're chilling. We're good. Uh, I'm, I'm over it. Uh, the only thing that apparently is normal and will last for like a few months is just getting being tired 24 seven. But other than that, I'm, I'm chilling. Alive. Welcome to fatigue, gang. <laughs> yeah, dude. I went to work on Thursday for the first, like, day after getting COVID, being at the office again at 3 p.m. I, I worked from 9 to 5, and at 3 p.m. I hit my boss. I'm like, dude, I'm about to pass out, bro. Can I go <laughs> home, please? <laughs> like, it was fucking it was no. mad. It was mad, but, uh, you know, if that's all, no, no, then, no, no, you know, no. fuck it, whatever. So that's my rant. Uh, another announcement that I want to make is that... Um, Last week, we played the first session of the Call of the Netherdeep campaign on Laura's channel, which was awesome. Uh, next session will be uh, next Saturday on twitch.tv slash laurak483. So, you know, watch that. Double D&D &D weekend next weekend. We'll have that oh. one, and then the day after, we'll have Dungeon Select, where, finally, we'll be introducing our guests for the next story arc. Uh, I, accidentally spoiled oh, who it I accidentally spoiled who it was to Koiba. Because I kind of I slipped up, so Koiba knows who it is. Other than that, I'm just, but like, 
Yeah, the guest has had to wait well, a while. Well, he hasn't while. left, the, so the, it can't the thing be is, someone Koiba hates. The thing, about, the thing about the guest it. is... Oh. <clears throat> we put... The, the reason the guest had to wait for so long was, like, because <laughs> we determined pirate arc is when the guest comes in. And then Soko suddenly got really busy, and it didn't feel right to me to Sorry. start his backstory arc without Soko being there. So we had to delay that a little bit. But it's happening, finally. Pog. <laughs> we got there. I mean, unless they switch jobs again, and then... Imagine <laughs> actively wanting to, uh... Be a guest dungeon select after like they see the fuckery that we are in like a campaign <laughs> and they go, I want another character to that. It's like I respect it, but also y'all yeah. look crazy. Why? I don't know. You put, you put, like <laughs> you see what we do. You see like the shit we do. It's like I feel no. like yes, any guest we have, we have to ask, are you okay? Yeah. They, they have to sign like a waiver. They have to sign like a waiver yeah, that's Elijah, like Elijah we can only help you once we have to have a waiver. Mental detriment that that yeah. Happens. You send them like one of those apology baskets, you know, that have like <laughs> some candles and send them like, sorry. Get like a, get like, get like a partnership going with, uh, fucking, what's her name? Cosmic Kate, Chris Sears, homie that does like the candles and shit, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get like a partnership going with them and just like, get some like apology candles or some shit, dude. We just need dice where the D20 just says, sorry. <laughs> the no, the sorry. fucking natural, sorry. the natural one is like, just sorry. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Oops. Oh, did it be so dude, that's 20 a says oh whoa. I mean no. All it literally says is we are sorry, mm -hmm. X happened. Please don't sue us. <laughs> give our give our guests like a shirt that it says I guessed it on Dungeon Select and all I all, I, all got, I got was, all I got was mental trauma. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> it's good to be here. This is uh, this is the whole gang for the for the evening. Um, uh, do we have any announcements? An announcement. I have an announcement. YouTube's up to date. I did it! Oh. I did it! Everything's up to date. Um, the Silver Keep or whatever episodes are edited so that the the combat's easier to follow. So hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, you, you fucking edit the fuck out of that. You're you're insane. <laughs> it took me like a week and a half to do that, so Jesus hopefully it Christ. worked and it wasn't a fail. No, um, I quickly had a little look through, and it, 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 that makes things a lot clearer, but also you did not have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, so... What did the lads have, have to do with their myself. time otherwise, you know? Like... Uh, we appreciate you doing it. You didn't have to, but we appreciate that you did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it does make it a lot <laughs> easier Ed to Editing Dungeon Select is like Bell's crocheting, you know? <laughs> Bell <Literally>. just... <laughs> just for old lady things. I'll never forget getting yelled at by Bell. When I was offering her help to help with the YouTube thing, because I knew that she was like busy or like her fucking hard drive died. Something, I think something broke, which caused you not being able to edit for my a while. My laptop is broken. So right. I and I was like, I can help, Bell. And she just looks me deadpan in the fucking, in the shits. No, you'll fucking ruin it. I'm like, okay. Never offering this bitch I'm help. Her creative again. baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never offering this bitch help again. <laughs> she can go fuck herself. <laughs> <laughs> None of you guys can take it with me. This is what I want. Uh, I'll take over. Raspberry. Yeah, okay. yeah, I've got an announcement. My entire mood depends on the next half an hour of football. So, oh, no. uh, is thought. England in the finals? It's England versus Germany in the Women's Euro Finals. Oh, it's 1 1 in extra time. And it's, and it's an extra I, I'm time. Exci I'm excited for the football. But Koiba, why why would you care about women's football? Oh, here we go. Oh, I fucking knew it was coming. Okay, okay, okay. Well, no, because okay. if gonna, England no, 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 lose... We're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. All right. I'll be upset. And if England win, you'll just see me suddenly being like... Fuck. The joke yeah. is, Chad, is that Koiba is a misogynist. Yeah. That's not a joke. It's not a joke. Fuck, I was like, a joke. <laughs> it is a joke. I feel like it is you should joke. clarify. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Reasons, reasons, this is a joke. He's a lovely yeah. person. Legal reasons. Only for legal reasons. Yeah. Of who he's interacting Only for legal with. reasons, not personal. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Only for legal reasons. Um, dude, fuck. Personally, I'm excited head's empty. because today's session will bring the party to a, to a new city that they haven't been to yet. And I filled it with a bunch of NPCs and stories and quests that they'll never fucking encounter. That's just the best thing about being a DM. We're going to the beach, I'm beach. Seduce them let's all. go get let's away. Go. Yeah. Dude, let's go uh, Minky Minja. Minja. But yeah, other than that, uh, speaking of NPCs, hey Opti. <laughs> um, other than oh, that, hashtag blame Opti. unless We're anyone going. here has anything that they want to announce, we can get going. Last we left off, you survived being yoinked into a realm that none of you had any idea existed. 
uh, and encountered a, a, a death house, so to say, uh, inhabited by uh, cultists that were trying their best to summon some form of evil into the town of Barovia uh, and failed and got abandoned by somebody who they thought was their master. Uh, but you put the death house to rest. All the all the, the spirits of the children that still live there moved on and got left with an invitation signed by a, a certain certain lord, some form of nobility uh, by the name of Strahd. But you don't really know what to do with it. All you know is that you have to go to a place called the Raven's Nest. Um... It's half a day of travel to get to Strathmore, the city you are supposed to be meeting with uh, Captain uh, Vira Silex and her crew uh, in about three days. So you have three days to kill while you're in Strathmore to explore, to do things, to hang out, to catch up, talk, whatever it is you want to do. So we'll start there. It's about, you know, you're all awake, ready to finish this last leg of your journey, about half a day worth of travel to get to Strathmore. What do you guys want to do? I wake up. I investigate the sound of an ice cream van. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. No, I... I, I... No, I start praying and changing my spell list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, mean... I gently mock his praying for the first five minutes. It's fucked up. That's how long as it take me, because to actually fucking remember what I wanted to change, because I forgot what I wanted to do. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Alrighty. Anything you guys wish to do? Breakfast. I, yeah. Make breakfast. And... Is, this, uh, is this like a ration kind of kind of vibe, or are you gonna like look out and see if you can find some some animal to? I mean, if Davian will assist me, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. He'll probably be down for that. He has no choice. He's not here. He's he not has here. done before. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, make a survival check with advantage because Davian is assisting you. I'm shit at this. I should have got him to do it, but oh well. Ah, fuck it. Uh, 15. 15? It was nearly a 3. Um, you kind of look around, and f suddenly you hear this, like, sound of, of, of just... And as you kind of, like, peer through some shrubbery, you can find this, like... A farm, a farmhouse further down, but there's this chicken coop that's kind of separated from the rest, with like five or six chickens in it and a bunch of eggs. If you, you know, care to <clears throat> have a closer look, a chicken like, like a little little field that is like fenced off with just a bunch of chickens in it, and like they're like a little coop and eggs and whatever. Is there, is there a visible home nearby? Yeah, like a. <sighs> Not immediately adjacent to it, but eggs. there's a bunch of fields and a bunch of like, you know, there's there's a cow pen further down, a bunch of fields with all kinds of like livestock, and then there is a farmhouse that you can see like down the road. Do I see anyone? <clears throat> I make a perception check. Oh my nose is Davian full. assist me. Sure, man. These are all the checks that he would make that he has bonuses to, and I don't. Mm -hmm. Double fours, baby. Uh, that's five. Or as you can tell, you can't see anyone. Okay. Um, I'm just going to walk straight over to the hen house. Um, <clears throat> how many eggs are in there? How many eggs are in there? Uh, as you kind of open up, you, you can, can... There's like a little coop, right? Like in the actual mm. uh, uh, fenced off whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and you open up the little door, the little, little fucking latch, and you can see that there's one... A corner of this of this little coop that is just like 10, 12 eggs just sitting there. Okay. Uh, fuck, how many people have we got to feed? One, two, three, four. Six, right? Five, six. I'll, I'm just going to grab all fucking 12 eggs. Okay. And I'm just going to put a gold coin in there instead. Okay. <laughs> sure. And I'm just going to close it back up and I'm going to fucking hop back over the fence and fuck off. All right. Can't wait to hear a rumor about someone's about hens chickens laying, laying gold. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Do you know what? If there were wild chickens, probably would have caught some chicken. But 
You know, eggs are replaceable. Oh, you did the sound of a, a farmer's shotgun go off. Play <laughs> my chickens along. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you uh, you make your you make way with uh, about a dozen eggs. You get back to camp with just like these arms full of like eggs. Like I'm just gonna whisk them up, throw them in a pan, and bake fucking omelets for everyone. I'm gonna okay. interrogate the shit out of Brooks for finding twelve fucking eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you, uh, get his eggs? Yeah, they were chickens. Up that way. Like, wild, or...? There were chickens up that way, so I went and grabbed some eggs, and now we're having omelets. I see. Did you at least leave money for the farmer? Now, would I ever do anything as selfless and stupid as that? Yes. You literally strapped yourself <laughs> to a grenade. Yeah, but that was a different kind of stupid. That was a fun stupid. Stupid. And not stupid. selfless, just I stupid. I don't get who are stupid is stupid. There's no different degrees. Do you want your omelette or not? I'm... I mean, obviously. <laughs> well, there you go then. Shut your fucking pie hole and eat it. Alrighty. He's not dealing with an angry farmer later. This is, is this where Jax turns around and goes, yeah, I don't eat omelette. He's pescatarian. Fish only. <laughs> Jax is, is Jax vegan? Jax has eaten eggs before, no. you fucking dildo. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a pescatarian. vegan never character. Make a vegan. You can kill him off, Dutch, okay? Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, so you have your breakfast. Uh, a nice uh, two egg omelette each. Uh, is there anything else you wish to do? Before you, or you want to just set off and, and walk and talk, whatever it is. It's about really it's about it's about a five things. six hour march to get to uh, Strathmore, but you can just fill in I'm whatever you see fit. Gonna is, take is it good a omelet? piece of cake right. from Dagon. Okay. And she can't say no. <laughs> and she can't say no. True. Okay, oh, so you're just going to take a piece of paper and that's it? And then I'll sit and write on it. Okay. But, yeah. Smooth. Fair enough. Just wait till later, Chekhov's gone. <laughs> Chekhov's gone. <laughs> Chekhov's gone. <laughs> Sick. I'm gonna... Can I see what she's writing? Are you trying to, like, keep it hidden? Uh... Yes. Uh, <clears throat> okay. In that case, Brooks, make a perception check with disadvantage. No. Oh. One of them was a nat 20. That's a total of four. Four? <laughs> no, you have no idea. Kess is okay. making it very obvious that she does not want people to see what she's writing down. Instead... Fuck, I can't even steal Davin's journal because Duke's not here. True. Okay. If we knew someone else who had a journal. <laughs> <laughs> someone I cared about that had a journal. Someone take that wine off quiver. He's, <laughs> He's far too middle class. <laughs> He's, just He's waving around way too much. <laughs> He's just being Say loud. something about the NHS. <laughs> She'd have seen him. She support at all costs. She'd have seen him uh, at fucking Opti's birthday, dude. We were all drinking beers, and he's just there with his fucking wine all evening. I drank like two bottles of wine, dude. <laughs> no fucking prick. <laughs> all right, so Cass, you, you're making. Uh, could you send me what you're writing down uh, in a DM at some point yes. or something? Yes, I can do that. <clears throat> Although I'll probably read it to you later. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. Oh. Um. Oh. So you guys set off. It goes gone. <laughs> Yeah. Check Remind me. Ah, uh, pirate clothes. Did we put them on the ship or did we keep them with us? You, you have them on you, I'm pretty sure. Because I know Daigon walks around hers. and ha already has like the mandana on and stuff, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I thought so, but I wanted to double check. This. Okay. So you have them with you. All right. So you set off. Um, this this like last leg of the journey, which uh, granted was supposed to be a seven-day journey, but because of Jax's epic map case, only took you three and a half days, with a bit of a nightmarish detour 
but you know that's not Jax's fault. Um, you arrive at a pretty large, a larger city, not as big as Eldilon, but larger than than most of the cities that you've 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 been to before. You can smell the like salty sea wind kind of hitting your nostrils you can see at the gates uh you're you'll be arriving from the north gate because we're headed south um you can see two blue sentinels uh like standing at the at the gate and upon your approaching they kind of halt hi yes What's your uh, your names and your your business in Strathmore? It's a vacation. Vacation, all right. What about some names? Um, you can I'm call Jeffrey. me Cass. Cass. We say Soko. I'm Jeffrey. Cass, Jeffrey. Julius. Julius. All right. Uh, vacation. All right. Um, and he kind of like looks at you all. Hold on a minute. Your faces, they... They, 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 they match the description we've gotten. Um, you wouldn't happen to to be that group of people that have been helping General Cron out a lot later the, the past couple of months, are you? Well, we did save... Depends. ...one a little bit. Well, it, may, it depends. Or... It will make granting you passage into Strathmore a lot easier, if you were. Then absolutely. Yes. <laughs> right. We, um, gotten orders to, to tighten up our, our security a little bit. Um, there is this, well, uh, can't really say too much, but let's just say that there's been a lot of, 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 of criminal activity in the slums, uh, just outside of the city on the western side, and we're trying to keep it there it is, on the slums outside of the city, not inside, so hence the interrogation, but uh, you guys are obviously uh, free to enter, um, enjoy your stay, uh, if you're, if it's a vacation, uh, I do recommend the, the port district, there's a tavern called the Red Fleet, it's by a little beachside, it's very pretty, very nice, recommend that, uh, if you're looking for work, there's, there's probably some, some shit to do around town, have a little look um and i mean if you're here on business business as in like helping the blue sentinels out since that's kind of a habit you have uh i'm sure the captain well, well general will have will have some work for you as well but uh that's up to you grateful for all the advice no worries no worries all right so do you guys you guys venture into Strathmore? Uh, you can immediately he's kind of like this this scent of like just the ocean is is very prominent throughout the city. But with that also comes a lot of uh, hustle and bustle. A lot of people on the streets, carts being dragged along, going to and from the the port. The port, which is located on the southern end of the city, um, <clears throat> there is a lot of people. It's very busy. Uh, but the city is yours to explore, really. Um, we go to the beach. Anything need to do? I mean, I have a little bit of shopping to do, but oh, just for a reference, it's about like toward, it's getting towards like 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 three four p.m. now. Time wise, um, so. I'm nothing major. I just need to get um, easier to jewelers. What is it with you? Um, forget I asked. I know what it is with you and jewelers. So that was a stupid question. It's like his I think kink. I have some stuff to sell. <laughs> I think I do too. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the bag of holding isn't the bag of holding like full of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of I have a lot off. of shit. I don't have anything to sell, but I might have some stuff to buy. Well, Plus, I need some. Make sure gym. that everyone's being entirely upfront when they go and sell shit. Oh. 
What? When when have we as a group I saw ever it. Oh. done that? Anyway, so I think I assume there's a market district somewhere around here. <laughs> Mr. Salborn. We should uh Port Town, there was always there was always something. Of course not. Oh if not, there might be some stools down by the port itself. They usually might have some straight dick no, you know, direct straight to get in before the uh, others. Oh, let's have a little see, shall we? And I will let's go find out. I will go and try and see if there's any like signage. The market district or anything um, like that, or if it's pretty obvious, like if it even is one. There are some, some there, there's a, like a large sign. You coming in from the northern, uh, the northern gates, um, <clears throat> and there's this big signpost, kind of like has like these arrow, like these like arrows pointing everywhere. Uh, one pointing south to the port district, uh, one pointing um, like more more of like a southeast to the keep and the temple. Uh, and there's also a sign that points towards the shopping district, uh, which is um, more east of where you are now. Mm. Shall we go get rooms, dump all our shit off, and then we can split up so that at least we've got rooms ready? I mean, yeah, sounds... And we know do where we the tavern is. Well, do we take that guard advice, or do we maybe see if there's somewhere else a bit, you know... Oh, up market, see the air. I was oh. saying there might be there might be someone nicer by the beach. Well, why don't we have a wander around the nicest city beach. and see what places there are, and then. But by the beach, we'll right? Pick, we'll pick where yeah. we want to stay, and then we'll fucking. Fucking... Guess there's probably a resort somewhere nearby. Oh, don't encourage it. I don't know what a resort is. <laughs> imagine a imagine my a last thing. one. We're on it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as we were as we we're walking to like as we walked to our beach like tiger so basically resort is like imagine being at the beach but like more private <laughs> and you kind of get stuff catered to you a lot more it's just a lot nicer experience do we want to i can we, see why okay. you like stuff, it yeah. do we want to just wander around and have a look or do we want to ask someone what the sort of options are oh, let's have a wonder surely walk around we're in a new city. Might as well. Who knows who we might meet? Arbitrarily, let's. I'm gonna lead the group east. East? So towards <laughs> where the shopping district uh, was pointed yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get to a shopping district, and uh, much like Eldalon, the architecture in this town is very, very just classic, you know, white, gray brick houses with like the blue uh, roof tiles, which you've grown accustomed to in the cities where the blue sentinels. Are are the the like the law enforcement? Um, some points of interest that you see in the shopping district is that there is a large, pretty fucking big uh, forge, which is just called um, the Heroes Forge. Uh, it's just big smithing shop. Uh, and one thing that point that piques your interest is that the man seemingly in charge um, is dwarven, but has this like. Dark gray skin, fiery red braids, and he's like these bright flaming orange eyes, which is unlike the dwarves you've encountered so far. Um, there's also Josiah's General Goods, which is a shop with a big sign out front. And uh, another shop piques your interest, not maybe not because of what it might sell, but more because of the name. It's called Three Sisters Trinkets. Um... You also walk past the tavern, which is called the Bottomless Flask. So those are some of the like points of interest that you see when you enter the the shopping district. Okay. Um, are we doing our shopping now? I mean, we can no, do... I think we should go. Just go around the city, see what's about, dump our shit off, and then. Because you know, like Castle, want to fucking wander around every store for the next three hours and. We do have a couple of days to spend here. Uh, might as well get our bearings. Yeah. So let's just figure out what's about them. Are there a collection of just like generic shops as well? Like, uh, you know? no, the shopping district is relatively small compared to okay. uh, what you're used to in Eldilon. Uh, but it seems that like a lot of the shops that are there are very big and will probably sell. Uh, you know, instead of there being a dedicated alchemist, uh, the, uh, her, the herbalist. 
it's all corporate of that is kind of like shit. Like you'll reckon it, like, it's a supermarket. You walk past three sisters trinkets and you can see that they're mm. in the in the windows, you can see that they sell potions, ingredients, arm like magic armors, all of yeah. that in one instead of everything being like to a dedicated separate store. Yeah. A lot of the stuff here is just kind of like like you, yeah, I guess a little more corporate. It's just instead of having five different shops that sell specific goods, there's just one shop that sells a lot of shit. Um what in store. One stop, baby. And instead of there being, you know, like a blacksmith and an armor smith separated, In the Heroes Forge just kind of like does it all. It's kind of like that. Cool. Okay. Uh, go south then, I guess. Okay. Mm. Uh, south, you're headed more towards uh, the port district of the city. Uh, you do walk past uh, a large gated off area. Um where uh the keep is located which in architecture ar architecturally looks like a carbon copy of of the keep in eldilon same exact look same exact design um you also make your way past the temple uh, the temple here uh, as you kind of walk by it uh, again very similar to eldilon dedicated to a variety of different gods but you can see like in the design of the temple itself that there's three gods that um are depicted very big in like the in, in the windows you know like the stained glass windows and whatnot uh you recognize arrows god of wisdom same as you know the, the big white stag uh you also see a large like tree with a face depicted in uh one of the windows and elazarin you obviously immediately notice that joaquin is also uh depicted Hell in yeah. one of uh, one of the stained glass uh artworks if you want, you can make a religion check to see if you recognize who the like the tree-faced uh, oh, god is. Nope. What's your roll? Uh, that is a uh, eight. Eight. Uh, oh, it's oh, it's a one. You you recognize they, um... you recognize this this depiction. Uh, oh. You definitely know that this is not of the pantheon that you grew up with. Um, Kess might I... actually know. Just make a religion I... check for me. Yay! I never get to do these. Oh, I hate digital dice, man! Four! Wow. Four? It, it <laughs> looks familiar, but it's like, it's just, it's escaping you. It's escaping you. I want to kill him. Oh my god. And eventually, uh, you do make your way <laughs> to the port district. Um, you can see a very large structure depicted with a large emblem of a dragon turtle which is just like um any of your profession in history jacks probably I am. roll no, a history I... check yeah i am okay uh, even if you weren't due to your background i'll allow you to roll a history check anyway uh, I, I am so it's okay uh the 16. uh 16 uh you know that a uh a dragon turtle is the closest the the animal closest related to dragons without actually being a dragon uh one a, a mythical creature that most people don't even believe exists but are, it's it's one of the many myths of the sea if you will um but it's called this this place is called dragon turtle fishing company so this is you you'll know you'll know of this company because you've had some run-ins with them on your more piratey back, back in the old piratey days um Largest fishing company of uh, the continent uh, does fishing all around the realm and imports the fish that they catch into Keldar, but also exports it to the Empire and the Kingdoms. Um, you also see that there is a high sea protectors outpost here. Uh, you recognize the, the 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 emblem, and further down you can see this like large beachside. Not quite pearly white sand, but very clean, uh, with a large tavern attached to it, uh, with, a, with a big sign up front that says the Red Fleet, uh, and it has like this big like terrace, like outside seating area, uh, like a, there's like a little pier built attached to it that kind of goes over the water a little bit, and a lot of a lot of like beds and tables by the beds on the beach that also belongs to the tavern. This is definitely the more fancy for the, the, the tourist traps of the city, I guess. 
I think my vote is for here. Mine too. Seems decent. I mean, enough. we've not seen anything else yet, but. How cute! It's so cute. <laughs> it's functional. It's got a little pier. What more could you want? A big pirate ship. We'll get one of those soon. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, it's it's a good you know, put a pin in it for this one you know. But this. Brook says there is more to see of this city before we. At least go see the port first, proper. I suppose. Uh, yeah, I mean the port is this. This beach side is definitely like separated from the actual like port where all the ships are yeah. to kind of give the people some. You know, if they want to go swimming for a little bit or anything, it's safe and they're not like dodging and bobbing and weaving between like ships and shit. Uh, but the port is, is right around right around the bend, and it's it's large, bigger than than the port, the docks at an Eldilon. You can see right now, <clears throat> it's full of people just traveling from ship to warehouse, ship to warehouse. Um, twelve, thirteen, anywhere between like twelve and twenty four ships, just like docked, unloading goods and crates. Uh, it is big. It's busy, and it is probably um, the most heavy guarded parts of town. There's guards on every corner. There's guards patrolling through the crowds. Because, I mean, if you want to get rich quick, this is, you know, this is what this is the place you, you rob. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and the city is very well aware of that. The heavy guard, heavy guard is but also most I was just thinking it would be really easy to sneak onto one of those ships. Why would you want to sneak onto a ship, Kes? Why is it easy to sneak onto a ship? Exactly. If you're going to steal something that's valuable, then the best place to do it is while it's on the ship and hasn't yet been yeah. unloaded. Because once it's unloaded, it's surrounded by security. People tend to think that a ship's fine. No one's going to climb up unless they go over the pier. See, he gets it. You just climb up the side. No, no. I understand, but but why? <laughs> just... <laughs> you know how you walk past, like, some religious book? And you just instinctively think about whatever shit you learned at religious school? No, but yeah, okay. We walk it's past good. things that are scalable and look at it, and even if we don't have the intent of doing it, we still think about it. No, Kes fully. I, I, I could. Can... No, no, I. I'm not going I... to, but I could. That's probably the biggest lie I've ever heard, Kes. I'm not it's, 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 it's less of a. It's not like the instinct is there to steal. It's just that you're always like, you look at something, and the first thing you notice is, oh, so if I was going to, that's how I'd do it. Oh, it's like walking I, into a room and immediately thinking about all the ways you could get out. If I maybe... feel like if I Kess leaves my field of vision, I'm going to hear a report that there's, someone has been on a ship and stolen something, like, a day later. We've I got th three days, my guy. Wouldn't be my description. <clears throat> no, oh, but we could both dress as a Lazarin. Or something. We um, could both dress as a Lazarin! But why would you do that? That's Why more fucked thing, because it's that's fucked up. <laughs> oh, but it's funny. It's if so you, funny. If you <laughs> guys, stay, no, 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 because you stay with the guards the entire time, because then you have an alibi. We'd make oh. sure you have an alibi. Well, luckily the blue Maybe sentinels aren't an organization. But... Luckily, the blue sentinels aren't an organization that has been infiltrated by you know the people who are after me. So it's gonna be really safe for me to be next to them. Or have we forgotten about that small fact? We were just being willfully ignorant to it. Part of it. <laughs> we're just winding you up. We're not actually going to sneak onto a boat and steal anything. We're not. See, you, I, you, I believe. You, Brooks, I believe. Kess Why on do you the other hand. him and not me? She raises a valuable point. Do it. I just give Kess that, like... More likely to do it than I am. I give Kess that, like, more likely to do it than disappointed, you like, parent look, but in the sense of just, like, is that, is that like, really, bitch? Like, really? <laughs> like... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's that just... <laughs> you know your track record, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I know enough. <laughs> That's what you think. No, no. I know you enough. barely scratched <laughs> the surface. That's even, you know you're not helping yourself, right? You know this is like more reason to not trust you. Than if you've I've been, never told oh. you that you should trust me. <clears throat> oh dear. I've actively given you reasons <laughs> not to. I know, but I can live in hope. <laughs> <laughs> then you're an idiot. I do hang around with you guys. It's rubbed off on me. And you did almost join a murderous group of people that now yeah, you yeah but i got out see i didn't join them that's the key point you put yourself in that position that's close enough i was also a child the <laughs> stupidest thing that elazarin did that is not tell excuse. us about that when we had the whole sit down tell us if anyone's following you conversation if you're okay. talking no about... you don't get to you don't get to comment on that one <laughs> no, no, i was like just you're saying <laughs> i would have told you about strad if i had remembered i just oh, that's the about. excuse. I just forgot. I really did. I completely forgot about it. Um, I swear. Uh, um, I, I had that, that, that dream not? and I was like, oh, it's fine. Have I mentioned that I'm wanted? <laughs> well, no. I just look at Jax and just go. <laughs> you said you were a pirate, but you never told us you were wanted. I thought well, those two kind of went hand in hand. Oh. Now, Only are you wanted by... I got, no, no. Are you wanted by other pirates or are you wanted by the law? Oh, probably both. both. Yeah. No, which one? Did have, which one's actually have... looking for you? I can't remember probably if both. it was a conversation <laughs> between the two of us or a conversation between the all of us. But I did know that because we discussed it, and I have plans for that. I was going to How... say they can't do anything unless I'm on the water. How so... long have you been wandering? I have plans for that. Potentially think you're dead. Um, he is very you old. Are old. Eight years. Ten years. He could have died in that time. No, 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 no. They could have believed he's dead in that time. He's already old enough. Eight, ten years. They probably thought he had like five to live. So we came around the corner, scared him, and that's it. <laughs> so it's super possible. Did you just say I have eight years to live? No, you had five. Eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, You're anyway. Hi, my friend. We have three days. I have a sort of solution to that problem. So let's just not deal with that right now. In a healthy manner, we're going to ignore that problem until it's important. But when I, but when I do that, it's No, fucked. shut up. Isn't it crazy to you think You don't that... tell us anything, so it's, you know, a problem. That's true. Isn't it crazy to think that I'm only 100, and while Jax is 300, he could have been walking around on the material plane like 200 years ago, and I could have been there at the same time? Just at a different point on the plane. What? Don't at, start like, doing that day. shit. I don't like that. No. Some, I'm just some timey wimey bullshit, dude. That's fucking. <sighs> that's something for fucking. Do you know what? Stupidly, my brother would find that really fucking interesting. I, however. You have a brother? You have a brother? You know I have a brother. Oh, I forgot. I do. <laughs> you definitely do. Oh, the old sandwich is coming back. <laughs> no, you forgot you had it. No. <laughs> He's remembered. Dementia. Just forget you have it, lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Um, yeah, I knew that. We have one district left to explore. I think. And then we'll probably uh, end well, up There's back a in residential Red Street, right? district that you saw yeah, signs to. And yeah. then there is the slums, which you got told about, but that's on the outside of town, on the west side. I mean, realistically, that... I don't think we're going to be staying in the slums, but I'd like to go have a look around, maybe tomorrow. Mm, yes. Or late tonight. Well, there's no point. I don't think there's any point walking in the residential district, is there? I mean, it's going to be a bunch of fucking houses. Let's might go find... tonight. I want to get drunk. We could do it tomorrow. There might yeah. be some nobleman's house in the residential district, and he's gone off on his jollies, and we could just break in and stay there. Or we could not do that. You know, no, he's rich, he can it. afford new locks. Yeah, but they also tend to be the one. What is it with you guys in crime in the new city? Can we not just enjoy it? It's not lawful just the citizens? new city, it's just crime. It's just it's what crime. we do. Can we just not be law? Laws are stupid. Abiding citizens. 
What's the worst that could happen if you break them? What's the worst that could happen if you break a law? Yeah. Well, I could break us out of jail. Exactly. It's, I could break depends us out of jail. On, depends which law you break, because sometimes it's just death. <laughs> They'd have to catch me first. She does have a point. I am right. very okay. Worthy. So, as far as we're aware, there is one place to stay, so that guard's recommendation was pretty fucking moot, because it doesn't matter where we want to stay. Well, there was two. There was the bottomless... Two, this is the bottomless... Flag. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that one doesn't have a really nice pier. True. And a beach. And that one. That one's just a tavern, right? So. Well, it could have been a B and B. A beer and breakfast. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, so, 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 so we're going to the Red Fleet. Yes. Right. Okay. We'll go, let's all go dump our shit off and then. Um, yeah, dump our shit off and then. And a lazarin can pay. Yes. Why can yes. a lazarin pay? Hang on. Uh, because actually, the reason Davian because volunteered you... for this one. No, 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 no. You, a lazarin, are the reason why we're here and not an Eldalon getting on the ship. Do you think so? You can pay that for the accommodation. True. Yes, that seems fair to me. Do you think I'm the reason? But you are. Okay. <laughs> Would you have rather? Th you know what? Valor, nice enough fella. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have gone. That's you know, fair. He's not... He's not my replacement father figure for my loopy dad. So... Not mine either. He's just my closest mentor and teacher. I mean, it's not the replacement father because my... <laughs> I'm just gently patting him on the oh, shoulder. Crazy. Okay, bud. Keep telling yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's just... You know, it's another cop too. At least I he had a replacement you father. You know... It's not like he's going to turn around with bount bountiful fucking cash to dump on us, you know. We oh, no. did it for you, so pay for Yes, I get rooms. it. I get it. I'll pay for some rooms like I do previously and anyways the for the most. No, 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 just the rooms. I pay for accommodation, not for you guys to okay, I drink. Don't well, need why don't I go so ahead and... No. Oh. Don't you don't need a room. Kes, you're going to... Pop away your magical amulet. What, where you stay then? Where you put that amulet, huh? Where's that I'll going to stay? I just give And where does Dagen stay? In a room. Yeah, but that's not my business. <laughs> that's her business. <laughs> that's true. It's not like they need twin beds. Mm -hmm. I will throw I the amulet into it. the sea just to prove a point. <laughs> that wouldn't do anything. That would be very relaxing because you can hear around it, right? So you could just listen yeah, it's to just Wait, could we drown food. you by putting it in water? No, because I can breathe underwater. It doesn't need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> would you, would no, but what your, we can do get all is, your stuff wet. No. No, no, but, no, but what we can do is Kess wakes up in the middle of the fucking ocean somewhere and is just stranded. <laughs> Pretty funny. And that's... Just tie it to a piece of driftwood <laughs> just and toss just... toss it onto a boat that's going out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes fucking miles. Instead of just being if, like if, wait, drifting wait, no, to no, steer no. like maybe being coastline. If we out. get a magic item that creates an area of silence and put that on the, the like, we keep that with the vessel, she'd never know that we'd moved her and put her on something and pushed her into the sea. You just have to do it very, very quietly. No, because we just you put a, a silencing thing around you. Mm. Or, now... I I don't need to breathe, but Kess, you, if you popped out just underneath a bunch of sand, right, in a massive mm -hmm. hole, I but this hole was covered up. Sand. Oh, but yeah, but with your amulet as well? Or would that still be in the fucking sand? You have to dig it out. With it. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> that's I hate magic. Did Elazarin just say lame? <laughs> yeah. Pretty fucking lame, dude. <laughs> I didn't dude. realize we were in fucking 1130s. Ah, shut up, you said oo-woo in character once. You can't talk. <laughs> oh, what's, in, what's in character? Oh, shut up. What's, what the fuck is oo-woo? <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, fucking Brooks did say oo-woo at some point. Oh, That's fucking funny. He never ran. Was it Bran or Brooks? Never forget. Yeah, it was Bran. Oh, it was, was Bran? Oh my god. Yeah. Oo-woo, I found a magic thing. <laughs> it was the... Oo-woo? <laughs> It wasn't Bran so much as it was me mocking someone. <laughs> Just yeah, but you said it as Bran. Yeah. <laughs> you said it in character. <laughs> you still said it. For fuck's sake. Alright, so. Right, game we're game. going to 
this whole conversation is happening as we're walking to the Red Fleet. Yes. Okay. So as you make your way to the Red Fleet, um, there's this large like double door that's kind of like set to stay open. Uh, and as you enter, um, you can see that there's a handful of uh, people sitting inside, but there's also a lot of people on like the terrace, and you can see some of the like beach beds are taken. It's kind of busy. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the people look like tourists. They do not look like people that work or live in this town. They're very much on a vacay, Polaroid, relaxing, Hawaiian hanging shirts, out. Coconut. Pretty much, pretty much. If that was a thing, then absolutely. You know what I mean? Do they all look like American tourists that are really lost with like towels around their neck? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, there is one thing that you, you being uh, Brooks and Kess and Daigon, is that there is someone behind the bar that you recognize. Uh, a female goblin um, cleaning some cleaning some mugs and you recognize that to be uh, well they were present at a couple of meetings that you've had in private I don't think I ever got their name probably didn't get their name but you've seen their their face yeah uh, Kess does know the name though um, do I? yes Fucking uh, Kester, she got doesn't. introduced to you as as the hawk. Oh yes. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. Oh no, I oh. think I know that. I just don't think I know name name. Because I've been to one meeting, and people we we talked about that sort of thing. Yeah, like you've seen them, and you've you've give, you got given everyone's like that the code name. Yeah. 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 And uh, she kind of looks up and recognizes you and just kind of like motions you. Good afternoon. Hi. What can I do for you? You looking for a place to stay? You looking for some drinks, some food? Uh, yes. All of the above, but let's start with a place to stay. And this mm -hmm. fine gentleman, and I'm going to clap a large one on the shoulder, is so covering our coming. accommodations. Very good. Uh, rooms, are we going for doubles, singles? Um, we should have... Quite, we're quite booked, but I think... Might be able to squeeze in... Might be able to squeeze you in three doubles. How many singles have we got available? Sorry? How many singles have we got available? Uh, let me quickly look, and she'll she'll whip out like this like book, and kind of like... Page turning. Um, Only two at the moment. And... Um. And you've got three doubles available? Mm-hmm. Why don't we just have five rooms then, since, you know, it's not my money. Everyone can have their own space. Uh, not from Kess and Dagon, but that's a moot point. I have my own spaces. I, pay. Oh. I mean, I'm not the one paying. Um, How much is it per I, So it works perfect. Singles are three silver a night. Doubles will be a gold a night. I kind of give a perk that's like... Wait, so expression. it's going to work out to about four gold a night. You can afford that. Of course um, it is. I could also... Um, oh my God. Mind the dog. I'm sorry. We have a... Um, there is, there's, there's an extra fee is you pay. Um, for the, the six of you, it'll be an extra gold to include breakfast. And um, we kind of... What we'll do is you'll pay um, your first night now but if you end up staying for more uh, that you don't know you're unaware about we'll just handle that after the fact we'll probably stay for a couple of nights we'll be we'll be three three we're, we're three nights three, three nights, nights. Three nights. Uh, two nights and then we're uh we're catching a was it three or two we're catching a ship uh, three it could be three but it might be two it's sort of up in the air we can pay for three well, why don't we say we'll three pay. we'll stay three and then that way on the third night we're not going to come back and find that rooms have gone someone else Okay, exactly. so three nights. Um, you guys doing? Why don't we just pay three nights and then it's not a problem. You guys doing the three doubles, or are you doing two doubles, two singles? Uh, what's uh, what's? what's oh happening? no, all all five. All five. Because okay. Two of us can. Well, it'll be three can gold, have a six silver, a night. But if you're doing the like breakfast, it'll be an additional uh, one gold a night. So that's another three gold. So that's um, three gold and then nine gold. So it's twelve gold, six. Five, eight, eight. 
13 gold and 8 silver. We'll cover the rooms and the breakfast. For the call next it three 14 days. gold. Mm -hmm. Because now, see, Dagon and Cass can share a double. Hang on, I've got to do maths Alaskan, real quick. Davian and Jax can have a single do you to like themselves, pay? and I can have a double to myself. On the, on, the, on, the, on the bar, and you literally just like, one pocket, one pocket, one pocket, one pocket, and just like, yeah. take that. I mean, I mean, legitimately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's 14 you, though, so like... it's not divisible by two, is it? You know that coin purses exist, right? He got robbed by he a He got hit on the head when he was younger. Oh, uh, right. Like I, mean, I was doing this before that, but... And you still got switch. robbed? So? Yeah, because if they take my whole purse, it's only a small amount of all of is my there money. A, is there a bathing facilities yeah. available? There is, yes. And I'll put 14 gold down. Is there a charge uh, for those? Um, there will be, um, yes, um, but you pay them, you know, whenever you're ready to, to go for a How bath. Or... It, roughly? Well, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's bathing, there's massages, there is uh, like, like, this, this, this new thing. Like quite, a, a quite, quite, quite the big thing back in the Empire is this aromatherapy, a bunch of scented candles and things and whatnot. Uh, how much for the whole package? whole package would be five gold each per uh, Lazarin, you can cover that. Well, right? you, you pay for, for this yourselves. <laughs> this is something that comes out of your own pocket. If you want luxury, I think comes out your own pocket. I think, 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 think Davian is if you, you said if you round that. it up to fifteen gold. No, no, how it is currently is perfect. So shut up. Don't use that one. If you guys, I put down fourteen gold. Under the enjoyment of a nice drink, there's a table available right there in the sun. You can you can oh, enjoy the, the, the sea breeze and just have a have, have a couple of drinks and yes. The double rooms are they doubles or are they twin beds? Um, they are currently um the way the beds work is that they are attached to each other. But if need be, I can oh, send someone fine. up. I can send someone no, up to fine. dislodge them, and you'll have two singles. So I'll I'll have one of the doubles to myself. I'm mean, having a double. You three can have singles to yourselves, and mm. Kess and Dagon can have a double because there's two of them. No. Actually, what happens is I get to double to myself because I fucking pay for the shitting rooms, and you have to lump with a single. No, I don't think that's quite fair, actually. I've always what's happened, and I kind of look for the key, <laughs> like have the like hand over the keys. Wait, 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 wait. You have three happened? doubles and two singles, so technically, you oh, can yeah, each, you can, singles, you can each get a double. Oh, well, to yourself. I'm having a double then. Yeah, I'll and take then, a single. Yeah, I'll take a double. <laughs> And then Davian will take the other single, and then you're good. If if Kess and Dagon share the Would one it maybe double. not be fair, more fair for Davian to have a double, seeing as he's got more chance of bringing out back company than you? He's got a fucking... Just because he's got a bird with him currently yes, isn't going to bring of, back another You're one. kind of holding up the line a little bit, so how about here's your keys <laughs> to your rooms. <laughs> Thank you. Take a seat over there at the um, at the table that it's ready for you. Yeah, literally and like the first I'll be right there to, to, to take up an order for some drinks, and then... Like, I got some customers to help. Literally, we are, we uh, are I'll like, just start wailing people away. <laughs> um, right before, uh, you will kind of, uh, walk away. Um, she'll hand Kess a little, a little menu. Um, with a, with a bunch of, like, drinks on it and food items and, and whatnot. And <clears throat> when you fold it open, Kess, uh, you do notice... That there is like a little crimson lotus logo, like in one of the bottom corners of the of the of the menu. A really well known printing company. <laughs> lotus printing. Um. So uh, I think Davian volunteered to pay for spa services. <laughs> I think I think he did. Davian mm -hmm. didn't because he's not the type, but. I yeah. Anyway, I, I, let's I, have a look what's on the menu. Vito. Like in this, I think it way coins. Yeah, I'm a dickhead. I'm not a dickhead enough to be like the two people that aren't here are gonna spend all their gold on us. Uh, and Lazarin, however, <laughs> literally probably the poorest one out of all of us. Yeah, the one that sits there polishing all his coins. How, how poor are you? I mean, I've got a bit of bank recently from recent adventures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the brokest one, he says. Pockets <laughs> spilling out with gems as he tries to walk every anywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't real money at the moment. This doesn't exist. Rummages, no value here. He rummages around and pulls out a handful of like 
fucking gemstones, out rubies, and then just like searches around to see if there's any coppers in it to it's tip someone. <laughs> Um, Just have an expensive necklace in my pocket. As you fine. kind of make your way to the table, uh, you sit for a few minutes, and it's it's pretty, man, where you are. There's like, you're you're sat in in the sun, but there's like this like you know there's there's an umbrella to kind of like cover you for, to not get completely fucking sunburned. Um, you sit. There's a so nice the... there's a nice little breeze going on coming from the ocean. You have like a view of the beach of the beachside, and 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 it's it's a very pretty location. Probably what the best kind of day is it right now? Uh, like the end of the afternoon, close to, close to dinner time. Okay, so shops aren't shutting yet, but they may shut in the next. Uh, you, know, you don't know, but what you're used to in Eldalon is that right. shops are typically open until like the first like few hours of the evening, and that's when they start closing up. Okay, so we've got a couple hours at least, probably, maybe. I mean, we could just go shopping tomorrow because seeing this view, I do not want to move. <laughs> I want to go swimming. I want to go swimming too. I have a few little bits that I want to get, but proper shopping can wait. Anyway, you want to pass me the menu? Yeah, I'll pass it. Uh, you pass the menu, and there's just a bunch of, like, all, a bunch of fish when it comes to food. There's definitely, uh, there are some meat dishes, but the fish menu is a lot broader. There's, you know... You're fishing. You're in a fishing port. Uh, this is the place where all the fish in the entire like entirety of the province comes from. So the restaurants here are going to be stocked with different kinds of fish and and fish dishes. Uh, but there's a couple of meat dishes on there as well. Some vegetarian options. As far as far as drinks go, a lot. There's a lot of choice, and they have this list of um, 100 beverages. All alcoholic. <laughs> and, Let's go, and baby. there's like a small note, like written above it, is that uh, there's like a bunch of prices. You know, some drinks are two silver, some drinks are a, few, a couple copper, some of them are a, f a few gold. But there's also this note that says, "Try your luck for five silver," which indicates that you pay five silver and you just get a random drink off the list. I'm in. That's what I'm doing. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty lucky tonight. So. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna start at number one. You're boring. You <laughs> are very work boring. Your way down. <laughs> <laughs> three days. Fucking hell, Brooks. You are very boring. He's yes, true luck that's, first. That's something I'm I'm known for being being boring, being calm, being you're, simple. No, no. You're starting number soon. one and working your way down. At least do one or two random and fuck up the system completely. Come on. Oh, fucking. Are you paying? Yes. Fuck no. Yes. I'm paying myself. Well, go fuck yourself. Brooks. Oh, maybe start at 100 and work your way back. Uh, drinks are on me tonight. I'm going to start with Drinks on you? Drinks on you? Oh. At number 69. Mm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, well, Jackson, you're feeling so generous. Gives us a bunch of randoms then. All right. I'll signal the I, I the will waiter, order a number one and I'll also ask randoms. Jax to get me a random. Uh, this the goblin piece. lady that was behind the bar uh, approaches you and it's like. You guys uh, managed to make a decision on a drink? Maybe yes, some food? Uh, four randoms. Oh. If you have... roll. Whatever number one is. If you roll number one, by the way, Ethan, it'd be the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> Two of the same drink. Uh, shall yeah. we just say for the sake of this that, like, Davian and Dagon get their, you know, whatever they want? They... But, like, we'll just, we'll just kind of, like, yeah. do the rolling and stuff for the people that are here. Because yeah, yeah. my sanity. Um, are we are we saying that they're staying with us for drinks, or are they gonna? Yeah, they'll stay with you. They're, they're there. They're also getting drinks. It's just we're not actively fucking. Um, okay, so that would be then three randoms, and then or do you order a random for? No, I'm having well? a random the and and the number one. Okay. So you're getting a number one, which a few minutes go by, and, and there's a bunch of different drinks. Uh, there's one drink that she introduces. At, our number one is called uh, the Flaming Dragon. It's a it's a beer, but there's a little bit of, a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick to it. Um, careful when you burp. Don't cover your mouth because your burps will be a little more flammable for the foreseeable future. So just watch out. Just look at the claret. Uh, okay. Did anyone behind me? <laughs> so then the four randoms. Let me just get my D one hundred out real quick, boys. Hold on. Woo. What did you say the or do you want the us to first drink was first? Oh, the the Flaming called. Dragon. That's what it's called. Then... Well, um, I think it's my alcohol list. Yeah. Then there's one drink here, um, which... 
Let us Which one of you wants to go first? We'll just do it that way. Me. Yes. Jax. He's I'll... paying for it. He should go first. Jax is paying. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why I said Cass. <clears throat> How well, dare you? Well, sir, uh, this drink is called actual torture. Um, the way this drink <laughs> like living with is, is, is to be consumed Which is one? that here's two teaspoons of salt. You eat the teaspoons of salt first. And then there's a citrus-based liquor that you that you wash it down with. Um, teaspoons <laughs> of salt, not like you're just like a liquor salt. Fucking teaspoons of salt. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Jesus. So we're ordering that for last room next, right? <clears throat> we're yeah. certainly fucking not. Um, then the second drink, <clears throat> as Jax gets his teaspoons of salt and his like shot of like citrus-based liquor in front of him, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay. All right, young lady. For you, we have a true dwarven stout. Um, strong drink. Um, not recommended if you're a bit of a lightweight, but... We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, be sure to uh, not swallow the pieces of stone lying in the bottom of your drink. They're just there to add flavor. They're not actually meant to be consumed. Um, Got it. So uh, it's a, it's um, under our dwarven clientele a very a very f a favored drink. But uh, I don't really know what other people think of it. So enjoy. Um, all right, who's next? No, me. This All right, for you, we have number 48, which is called the Pina Colossus. Um, the, and the you, just get Colossus? Like, you just get like this fucking big fuck off pineapple put on, in, on the table with you. It's it's huge, like like three times the size of a normal pineapple, completely hollowed out, filled with rum, coconut cream, pineapple juice. This is usually a share. <laughs> usually this is a shared drink, but um, here's some straws. <laughs> Good luck. And then we have one yeah, more random, which I guess goes to the the the. So you, handsome so you, you have two drinks, all right? Did you call him handsome? Uh, for you, we have a uh, goodberry gin. <laughs> um, what? Sorry, a blueberry gin. Goodberry gin. A goodberry gin. Yes. Ooh. Are you familiar with? Uh, there's a there's there's there's, there's a couple of. Uh, there's a specific type of berry that uh, a lot of the more druidic folk um, have access to. Um, this this, this no. drink. Um, <sighs> the way this works is uh, you drink enough of it, uh, it might even compensate for some of the damage you'll take from being drunk, falling down a set of stairs. You know what I mean? Um, it functions like it has like some healing properties to it. Oh, okay, cool. You, uh, Does it upon, just taste upon... like berry? Uh, is yeah. it Ribena? No, oh, it's it's good berry gin, so it's just like a ginny. What, yeah, but what does good malt. berry taste like? Uh, good. Good. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Kind of raspberry ish, but with a little more of a sour twang to it. Ooh. Um, And upon consumption, you, you heal 1d6. So, there you go. There's okay. also that. All right. If there's anything else you want, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be around. If there's any food uh, you'd like for us to prepare for you as well, um, feel free to give us a shout. Uh, one thing I recommend is that there is this uh, this fish sampler platter that we that we serve, which is mainly enjoyed by by groups of guests. Uh, it basically, has a little bit of everything. Uh, a lot of lot of pub food, you know, like deep battered and deep fried fish and squid rings and, and whatever else. Of what sort of time do you guys stop serving food and what sort of time do you have last call? Uh, we serve food until like two hours to midnight. Uh, last call for people that aren't staying is when the kitchen closes, but patrons that stay whenever the last person goes to bed, really. Oh, so it's like proper lock-in then. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you are not working in the night shift. I am, but... You, well, some of you, we've, we've crossed paths in Eldilon, right? Um, I haven't really had a chance to talk, but I've seen I you do. before, and you strike me as, um, opportunists, no? There's a chance to make a bit of money when it comes to 
let's just say that um, when the lock-in happens, you know, when the people that aren't guests get kicked out, I run a bit of a gambling gig on the side. Um, sh -sh -sh, very low-key. But you as a group <laughs> seem like the kind of people neck. that would enjoy such a thing, so definitely, you know, that's something you're interested in. Let me know when the lock-in happens around like 10 tonight. We've got some games, I mean, we've got some gambling, some betting. It's a good time. I have to be honest, <clears throat> I'm really bad at paying attention to, to people if I'm not paying attention. Mm -hmm. So I don't remember us meeting, and I sort of just side-eye glance, like, towards a Lazarin and towards Jax and the others. But mm -hmm. I would be more than happy to gamble. Okay. So just uh, I'm sure we probably keep that in mind when, when the lock-in happens, because... Obviously, it's not entirely legal, so we're keeping it low key. But you seem like the group of people so, that would so enjoy if, such a thing. If yeah, anyone from the authorities turns up, we started a game amongst ourselves, and you as as tavern keep have nothing to do with it. Exactly. Uh, not that, it I'm not the tavern keep, by the way. Down. I just I just work here. the The owner of the tavern okay. is um, uh, a man, um, <clears throat> so, uh, Dragonborn, uh, former pirate. He's called Iras. He'll be here. In a couple of hours, he tends to do the evenings. That do you recognize What I name? meant was more, we as patrons are gambling and it's not a house event, because that would be... Exactly. Was that uh, exactly. Uh Would I know who that is? Make a history check. <clears throat> um, plus eight, so 21. 21? Fucking hell. Plus eight? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, you recognize the name. Uh, and it it clicks for you that there was this famous pirate captain that you've heard of, you never met, but you've heard of, that had a fleet called the Red Fleet that was a pretty feared uh, group of ships uh, around the same time that you were doing your pirate adventures. Um, you, when you were doing the pirating, you were mainly like between like the Empire and, and Keldar. Um, they were more around like the kingdoms, so you never really crossed paths, but you've heard of you've heard of them. Right, definitely cool. a name that rings a bell. Now there's like the connection to the Red Fleet, it all like clicks in your head. You're like, oh, clever. Um, all right. so yeah, let me know if you want any food, any more drinks. Uh, I'll I'll get you sorted, and uh, if you want to just open up a tab or something, then let me know. I don't know how you look. Well, he's gonna be busy for a little while. Points at Elazin with the big fuck off pineapple. <laughs> But uh, you look like the bunch that are due a good stiff drink or two, so if there's any at any point in time you want to open up a tab and just deal with it afterwards, then just give me a shout. Thank you so mm. much. I think I would like to go shopping for a few little bits tonight and then I think tomorrow, and we can always just go wander days. the fucking district, you know? Well, I'm we'll going to be. You and leave. You guys can stay here. We'll I mean, I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Got a lot of drink here, so. Oh yeah, Good you're probably you. going to have to tag in some strangers to help with that. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, I forgot I your cheat. I can help him finish it. <laughs> you certainly yeah, can try as to. As Jax is sitting there with his shot glass and two teaspoons of salt, <laughs> on the upside, and the last one is on the other side with his big fuck off pineapple that he's just. <laughs> on, on the other I, side of the I, I, do the, I do the thing where I'm thinking, could I pour? And it's like, try to lift it. It's like, oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> uh, get, get some beach towels. Okay, I'll get some beach towels. We, we can grab some beach towels. On the upside of Lazarin, I'm going to finish my drink, get up, and pat him on the shoulder. I'm just lean down next to him. That amount of pineapple will do wonders for your dating life. And just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow after him. Okay. okay. So you two head I'm off, a, uh, the rest of you Brooks are gonna... <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so as you, uh, as Brooks and Kess head off into the city, uh, where do you guys wanna go? So, where are we going? Um... General goods first, and then maybe a quick nosy round the trinket shop. You know, if it's massive, we can come back tomorrow. But there's a few bits that I want to pick up. By the way. 
Oh, God. You remember when I stole your journal the first time? The first time? Yes. Okay, found... go on. Where is this going? I found all those letters. Yeah. Well, um, at the time, I told you I hadn't wrote any. Written any. Wrote so, any. written any. So, I wrote one now because my dad offered to take one back for my mom. So, I feel fair is fair and you should read it. <laughs> okay. Am I going to need a heavy amount of context to this? I don't think so. I think you know enough. Okay. You want me to just fucking read it as we walk, or...? Yeah, just read it as you walk. It's not very long. I will read the letter. Do you want Do you want them two to deafen real quick so you can just read it out, uh, Bell? Uh, or do you want this sure. to like be be Four. okay? Okay. So, yeah, it's you... four of us. You mean that's fucking deafen? <laughs> God, I still have mean. not made anyone deaf in this campaign. Nah. <laughs> okay. Mother, I would apologize for running away, but I doubt that it's necessary. I'm in the material plane and have been here for a year and a half. I don't know how long it's been for you or what you said to the rest of the clan to explain how I vanished during the festival, but I'm sure you thought of something. You probably have the Fenmarins on the pointless hunt for me in the Feywild and deny I ever went to the material plane for that festival to begin with. I wanted to at least let you know that no one knows the truth of me here. It turns out that the skin you hated so much is a wonderful shield on this plane. The Shadow Elves are safe, and I will continue to make sure they stay that way. I met my dad. That's how you're getting this letter to you now. Though, depending on the way it's delivered, you may already know that. With love, Kess. Nice. That is a real heavy letter to end with. With love. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Normally, with love is like, hey, I hope you're well. I heard that your your cousin's dad's hamster died. Thinking of you with love. You know, that's that that's heavy. That's well, I do hope she's okay. Do you? Yeah. There's a lot of... There's a lot to unpack there. Maybe, maybe so, I should rewrite it. <sighs> Dutch. Hello. Would I know, would Brooks know what Fen Marins are? There is a little bit of... Um... <laughs> no. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't think so. So first things first, what the fuck are these? Oh, um, they're a different clan. Oh, my people split into three clans when we arrived in the Feywild, and they decided that they didn't want to find somewhere permanent to live, and they just kind of <clears throat> travel around the Feywild and hunt things and get into all sorts of adventures. Most of them die pretty young, for obvious reasons. But the ones you're, who you're live, young or are young or uh, my my young probably. Oh, so like. 70. Yeah. Mm. A few are my age. Okay. The ones that live, retire, and choose one of the other clans to live with for other, the rest of their life, but that doesn't happen very often. <clears throat> There's a lot to unpack there. You... You're like you didn't just say disliked, you said hated. Well, 
I I assume she hated. She she flinched when she saw me without illusion magic. So I assume, but she never said anything about it. That's honestly worse. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Well, and I. You're, you you don't hold any resentment from that. She... I didn't. And Are you, then. Are you sure? <laughs> well, when I first came here, it didn't really bother me. I, 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 I understood why. And then I kind of got to live without hiding anymore. And yeah, I but... stopped flinching when I saw my skin. And it. Even if you came downstairs tomorrow morning and you disguised yourself to be fucking pink, <clears throat> I might chuckle a little. But I wouldn't flinch at seeing you. That's... <clears throat> you know, you're still you. Well... There, there have never been any... Well, since we were exiled, there have never been any half of Shadow Elves. Like, they're all... ...complete. But... Mm. I, I was sort of not supposed to happen. And she felt she betrayed her people. I don't know your people and culture well enough to stay to say whether she did or didn't but even if she had that's her that's her crime and not yours yeah my 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 worry is that i don't know how dash is gonna take that letter so i think he kind of needs to know because they don't know that I am not. She told them when I was born that I, uh, my father was one of the Fenmyrans. So, and he died before she found out she was pregnant. And it meant that I had a father that she could kind of just tell them about without it being a problem. But... He doesn't know any of this, apparently. He made a comment about it being normal to... Well, about it being less weird to be blue in the Feywild, and... I didn't correct him at the time. So, so I'm worried he's kind of... might He might walk through the front door, so to speak. So and you come thoughts. from a group of people that are basically in hiding for something that nobody really remembers about or cares about. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> your mom resented the fact that you were blue. Your blue dad didn't know that your mom resented the fact you were blue. When they did the... the you know, the, the adult tango, was he blue at the time? Yeah. So she knew what she was getting into then, like... Yeah, she didn't... It, mm, the pregnancy was a surprise. Well, golly fucking gosh, I had sex and now I'm pregnant. What a fucking surprise. She didn't no, that's... about it much, so... <coughs> that's not. <sighs> you wanna be blue, you be blue. You wanna be fucking pale and... Bitchy, be pale and bitchy. Be what you want, but fuck what anyone else wants you to be. Should should I should I rewrite it then? I I don't I don't want it to sound angry. I'm not. Really? You sure about that? 
haven't really looked at it in any great detail. I... I would keep it sparse and maybe reflect when you have time about how you do feel about it before saying one way or the other how you feel. Mm. Just, you know, let her know you're not dead yet and... Well, that was the intention. But isn't time fucky anyway, so haven't you been gone like fuck all the time or something or I have no idea how long I've been gone to them well how long have you been here a year and a half so it could be what a day a week a month yeah could be more oh I fucking hate this shit I'm not smart <laughs> enough right <laughs> let's get some shopping done right so where are you headed first just sort of... um I will put my arm out for Kess and I will lead us over to the general goods store. Alrighty. Uh, so you make your way to blah, 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 Josiah's, Josiah's general, general goods. General goods. Uh, as you enter, you can see uh, a human man uh, standing behind the counter, if you had to guess. Someone in his late 20s, maybe early 30s, but that's pushing it. Uh, short blonde hair, but with a, like a full face of, uh, <clears throat> not like a full, like big ass beard, but like definitely a full face of, uh, of hair. Um, and he kind of nods at you as, as you enter. Good, uh, afternoon, evening, I'm not even sure anymore. It, um, it's right on the cusp. Fair enough. Uh, what can you I do for you today? I mean... I was just gonna wander around, but we do sort of have a have a list um mm -hmm. first things first i'm the realist what the fuck was that <laughs> do you have any beach towels um yes cool uh how many do we need six six beach towels six towels um is there any variation in color or um is it just a towel just a, 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 just towels man i'll be honest i'm not really that's fine that's fine um, uh, the, the, normally there'd be two silver pops. Since you're buying six, we'll just say a gold will what? suffice. We're there's a lot of shit. Okay. Uh, do you have fishing rods? Fishing rods? Um, I all don't the required. All right. Do you know where I could buy fishing rods in the? Um, a fishing company maybe, but most of the fishing is done um by licensed fishers by the company because it's a pretty pretty like competitive market so I, mean, I don't know I'm, I'm getting ready to go on a sailing trip i'm not gonna be you know, oh uh, in that case um fucking... yeah i'm sure the fishing company might be able to to hook you up then if you sweet talk okay. them a little bit that works i am great at that uh anywhere in town that just sells like you know basic cheap fucking clothes i don't have time to get you tailored um I have a, a small section of, of just very basic, average uh, clothing. What is it you're looking for? Some shirts, just some comfy shirts. Mm -hmm. And like comfy as in big or comfy as in the materials? Comfy as in I'm going to lounge on a beach in it. Okay. Um, and... Shirts, pants, both. Shorts, perhaps. Some shirts that are uh, fitted enough that I'm not going to lose them if I go swimming. Alright. Uh, just one or two or how many? Oh, okay. good. One pair of shirts and a couple of shirts. Alright. Uh, any design choices that you have in mind or does it not matter? It's all, it's all pretty neutral to be fair. Just some, I mean, some color palettes. Is there, is there like a wide selection, or is it all just like just different colors? Fairly neutral. Different colors, really. That's that's all. Uh, is there a lot of color selection? Um, I don't know, six or seven, maybe. Can I find? Is it just generic colors? Is there pastels? I would like, if possible, like a lilac and a fucking pastel blue. 
then that is what you get. Cool, perfect. <clears throat> Anything else? Uh, do you want me to wear it, it's the trinket place that does magic items, right? Or... Mm -hmm, correct, the three three sisters trinkets. Cool. Okay. Um, is there like there's shit on display, right? Yeah. Is there anything that catches my attention in any way? Make a perception check. Anything that I haven't seen in other stores or just calls out to me? You find... 16. Seventh hand. 16? Um, I should call him handy. Let's have a look. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Let's fuck it, why not? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's one thing you see. Ooh, go on. Um, which is... Let me quickly grab it here. Um... <clears throat> You find um, this, like a gemstone that is kind of like very carefully placed in a display case. Just a gemstone? Uh, that's what you get. Well, that's what you catch at first glance. Yeah. I'll go have a look at it. Why not? Oh, I see that my my gem of brightness has caught your eye. And gem of, gem of what now? Gem of brightness. It's uh. What does it do? Well, it's a, it's a gem. It has um a, 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 a pretty large amount of, of of magical charge in it that uh, you can use to do several things. Uh, and once it runs out, it's uh it just becomes a gemstone. But it'll catch a little bit of a uh, gold for you if you sell it. But uh, until then. This one is fully charged and uh, does a variety of things, from lighting things up to blinding your opponents. Um, pretty nifty. How much? How much? Yeah. Um, for this, uh, so one hundred gold. Mm -hmm. So, how much for everything then? Sorry. Well, if for you that, well, we'll um, we'll say that if if you buy this gem for one hundred gold, so I'll, I'll chuck in the towels and the shorts and the, and the shirts for, for free. I should I should add that uh, this 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 prism has uh, fifty charges and um, there's three things you can do with it. Um, the first thing you can do is for it to just light up something or light up the room uh, that doesn't cost a charge. Um, the second thing you can make it do costs one charge and fires a brilliant beam of light at a, at, 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 at someone or something uh, within uh, a certain range of you, uh, which can blind them if successful. And then there's a big one that costs about five charges, um, which uh, will make the gem flare with, with blinding light in a cone. Uh, it's basically a more area of effect version of, of the previous thing I described. Just just blinding your opponents. Um, so you can you can use it quite a lot before it becomes powerless with, with a total of 50 charges. So it, it'll last you a little bit. What sort of gem is it, Dutch? Uh, it's like this prismatic, colorful... Um, it's not a diamond, but it has that same, like, just like that neutral see-through color. But when the light shines in it, you can see a, just a variety of different colors. Obviously, kind of like from, a, from an economics point of view, he says, you know, it just becomes a gem. It's not going to be a hundred gold gem because no uh, one would 50, sell a, a fifty gold. gold gem. A fifty gold gem. Yeah. So really, it's it's a fifty gold investment and a fifty gold purchase fee. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck it. I give him seven platinum and thirty gold. Thank you very much. 
Yeah. Uh, Is that what you want while we're here, Cass? Gem of brightness. It's uh, mm. it's a D and D like standard item, so you should be able to just yeah. add it to your character sheet. No, I, I don't really have anything I want in here. Okay. I'm also in the market of, uh, of pur purchasing certain things if if you're looking for you know to pick up some some things on the way, perhaps. I have some stuff I could sell. Hmm. You're interesting. As long as it's gonna... nothing like magical trinket wise, because that's more mm. their thing. I, I have a couple of odds and ends, like that gemstone, for instance, but I mainly. Um... I have a, a magical axe, is about the only thing I'd be willing to part with. Oh, uh, magical axe, uh, you'd probably want to go to the three sisters for that. I'm sure. gonna pull out the ivory hairbrush with silver bristles. Oh, very pretty. Where'd you get that? Oh, just working. I go okay. a lot of places to find a lot of stuff. Didn't steal it, did you? No, no. Okay. Checking. Um, what are you? What are you looking to to to, to catch for this today? How much is this worth? I don't know how much this. It has a list of worth of 25 gold, but Kaz has no idea how much How much would I think? How much would Brooks think it's worth? Make a... Make an intelligence check. Like, Brooks wouldn't have worked with Ivory, but like he's worked with... Make an intelligence also. check. I don't win these. No? Well, please so, win these. <laughs> that is a... Five. <laughs> you are not sure. What is it? Do you have any knowledge of, of what it's made of? Um... It's it's ivory and it has okay. silver bristles. All right. Well, normally the people that, that sell me things have a more educated, uh, you know, they're prepared. But um, I'll 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 be straight up with you because your friend here has already spent quite a large amount of money uh, in my shop. Um, if I were to put this on sale. I'd sell it for about 25 gold pieces, but obviously I need to make some profit, so I'm willing to give you 15 gold. Okay. Anything else? I also have some other stuff. Mm -hmm. I have uh, an eye patch with a carnelian stone in it. A carnelian? Mm -mm. Okay, well, what, are you, what are you looking to, to, to catch for this? Any idea? I have no idea. Bless you, suck. <laughs> Drive <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay. Well, that gemstone looks pricey. Um. Can I? Can I have a look? Mm, he'll look at it. What's the list? The price for that again? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Okay. Gem looks very well kept. Uh, no cracks or anything. It looks. It looks very. Very. Very good. Um, 35 gold. Okay. I also have three moss agates. <laughs> With 10 gold each. Uh, I can give you 15 for the lot. I got it, yeah. And then the knife made of human bone and a dagger with a rat skull in the pommel. What is that first one made of? It looks um, like bone to bone. me. Yeah. What kind of bone? Are we talking like cow, like cattle, or...? I that no might idea. be something you might want to save for the other shop. Okay. They're, they're less functional items and more trinkets, really, mm. aren't they? Yeah, that's valid. Okay, I'll keep right. those. Um, so give me the items we discussed so far. Gold. It will be 65 gold pieces for you, ma'am. Cool. I love selling stuff with a character who doesn't know how money works. <laughs> how much? How much do those beach towels cost again? Those towels are a, a gold apart. A, a gold for six of them. Cool. Would you pay a hundred? But I, I did say to you that I'd throw in all of that stuff for free because you spent a hundred gold on that prism. So. Yeah, but the the five other people I bought towels for don't know that. Two silver each mm. in that case. Jammy bastard. Two silver each is for the list price. Um, enjoy scamming your friends. <laughs> Acquaintances. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> right. 
Um, anything else I can do for you before you uh, take your leave? <laughs> He's still sipping his fucking pineapple, dude. <laughs> no, I think we're good, but uh, okay. thank you. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. We're here for a couple of days. A couple of days? Are you staying at the, the Red Fleet then, I'm assuming? We are. Very good. It's nice. It's a nice place. I, uh... Well, I tend to, you know, not stay there, but I have the privilege of being able to enter after they have already done their lock-in of uh, the night. Oh, in which case, I will have chance to recoup some of my expenditure this evening. I see you're on the, on the inside, yes, perhaps. I will see you there. Yeah, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be around tonight? I intend to be. Someone's gonna make up for everyone else's expensive habits. That's very true. I'll, uh, just, I'll have to warn you, though. I am a pretty nasty, um, pretty nasty liar's dice player. So just, just keep that in mind when you challenge me, if you, if you challenge me. Got some luck up my sleeve. I'm sure it'll be fine. Luck up your sleeve or an extra set of cards. I will make sure to wear one of my shirts this evening. Hmm. All right, see you tonight. i nod and head out. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, before we go. Hmm? Oh. Weird question. All the shops seem to be very expansive in terms of what they sell. Yes. If I wanted something made of glass, where would I go? Glass? Do you, that, elaborate a bit. Just like some colored glass frames, or like a like a mini glass window. I know that. Um, hold on. Give me a second. Um, I know that uh, Thalcom at the forge. Um, they 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 have one employee there that focuses more on the more delicate things like glass blowing and whatnot. So that might be. Your best bet. Okay, cool. Are they are they like most shops, or do they shut up early, or um, they tend to. Most shops here and more, most places of business tend to close up around the same time, around like eight cool. nine ish in the evening is when uh, we tend All to right. close up. There's not really a set cool. time; it's just kind of something we do. Yeah, that tracks with you know coastal living. All right. Um, anyway, thanks well, for your help. Uh, I will well, see maybe you catch later. you tonight, and uh, you know, perhaps we can do some more business. Perhaps I can not have my wallet hurt so much. <laughs> right, right let's head out. You guys uh, so, heading everywhere else? Anywhere else? I'm pretty set. I want to swing by the forge quickly, but I'm pretty set mm -hmm. for tonight in terms of items. Okay. Do you want to do? Trinkets place now, or do you want to come back tomorrow so you can actually go through with everything? Because I know that that's going to be the shopper you want to go through fucking everything. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Let's mm -hmm. swing quickly by the forge then. Alright, as you head past the forge, uh, a familiar sight to you. Like, this is a big forge. There's this, this rows of anvils being clattered on by hammers, but there's this one, like, uh, dark-skinned dwarf with the fiery red braids and eyes uh, kind of overseeing it all and, and helping customers. Um, there's a bit of a queue, but eventually uh, it's your turn and uh, the, the individual just walks up or like looks up at you and uh, Welcome! What uh, no. can I do for you today? As we get into the front of the queue, I'm going to turn to Cass. Fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to see if the general store saw tobacco. You want me to go back? I'll give you... Do you want to tell me how much it is and I'll give you... Okay. Uh, you're probably going to con me. Just make it a reasonable amount so I don't turn around and go, well, that's fucking ridiculous. So okay. you come back and just buy a pack and tell me how much it is. Okay, I'll head back to the general shop. Very aware of your compatriots' um, habits. Sir. I would have done the same, to be fair. All right, well, just don't try to con me and we'll be good, we'll be good to go. So what can I do for you? Okay, so I'm aware that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. So I have a gem. Aye. 
I would like the gem to be seeded in a small, almost like a like an oil lamp. But I want to change. Uh, I want to have three of the sides be just metal. Right. And then one of the sides I would like colored glass. And I think I'm leaving in like three days. So realistically, I think it's going to be much easier and more sensible to repurpose an actual gas lamp than to make a custom in enclosure. Right. Is there any functionality you want this, this thing to have? Or is it just like, I a, just more, like an art piece? The colored glass, I want to be able to shine light through. Right. And I want something to sit this... And I'll show him the, the gem. I want to be able to sit this on the inside. The gem will uh, Obviously, I want... Yeah. Okay. And obviously, I want okay. at least one side to open so I can take it in and out. But that is it. I have okay, some so I'm experience think, I'm think, forging I'm thinking, things. I'm um... thinking... Get, we repurpose an oil lamp, fill out uh, three of the like four sides that it typically has with, with just metal plating, make one of them a little little door that we on a hinge that we can just open up so you can take the gem in and out. Uh, where the, you know, the, the normal, you know, uh, wick and, and the oil reservoir would be is where we install a little, a little clamp for you to put the gem in. And then there is this one side colored glass where the light can shine through. Is that, am I on the right track here? Yeah. That's about. All right. Um, my employee that does the more finicky stuff like that is uh, currently uh, well. She she took the evening off, but she'll be in tomorrow bright and early, so we can get that started. It should only take a day or two to to finish to to, to finish up if we're using an oil an old like we repurpose an old oil lamp. It takes a how much is it gonna sting me? Uh, for this, it's more custom job. Uh, we're not making it from scratch. To be fair, because we're repurposing an old oil lamp so i uh, shall be about 10 gold will do i think that's fine that is absolutely fine by me all right uh I just come back here in a couple days and uh, it'll be ready for you half now uh yes half up front half after uh, the, uh you know the, the item okay. gets uh, delivered so that'll be five gold now and then five gold upon when you come pick up the item cool so i will pass in that gold. All right. Uh, I will. Do you uh, mind leaving the gym with us so that we can kind of use it to kind of fit the the actual clamp place for it, or uh, or well, or just stay around for like a few minutes so I can quickly measure it and and write down the 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 size and whatnot so that I yeah, have something to sure. go off uh, of. While you do that, why don't I draw? the specifics of what I want on the glass piece. All right, yeah, sounds good. And I will draw a very... A, a simple image. I will message you. Okay. Yeah, and he'll, he'll take the time to like, measure the size of the gem, like all the dimensions, and, uh, and, and writes that down. All right. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah, we, we can do that. We can do that for sure. Um, like I said, a couple days and it'll be done. So, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, I'll see you then, I suppose. That sounds fine by me. All right. Um, yeah, well, quickly, Kes, so you went to go back to the shop to ask what exactly? For tobacco. Tobacco. All right. Um, yeah, we, we, we do, we do sell tobacco, uh, just, do you want normal tobacco, or do you want, uh, any flavors added to it, uh? What, what flavors do you have? Um, we have, you know, the normal tobacco, we do, uh, we do some, some, some like a minty flavor, and this, there's one that has some, like, hints of berries as well. Mm -hmm. Nah, just give me normal. Right, uh... Do you want a small or a big pack? Big. Big? A big pack will set you back about four gold. Okay. And then I'll head back. All right. I will... Is Kess back? After I finished, up yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 she'll get back like towards like the tail end of that like conversation. Okay, yeah. I will. I'm way outside for. So, how much did this 
cost me? Ten gold. You know when I said to make it a reasonable amount? That's how much it cost. What did you fucking buy? Fucking Zars premium fucking magic tobacco. I don't know. I don't smoke. <laughs> Got him. Let me have a look. <laughs> I'll hand it to him. Is it just generic tobacco? Uh, it's generic tobacco, but it's a it's a big container. Like it's a very big container of tobacco. The the most you if you paid more than six gold for this, then we're going back to get a refund. Fine, with six. You know when I said skip me, but skip me in a a believable amount. You four gold more. Ah, yes. Nearly <laughs> double the price. Entirely <laughs> believable. I'll fucking hand her six gold. Alright, you guys head back to the Red Fleet. I... Also, right. How long have they been gone? Yeah, I was going to say, they'll have been gone for about an hour, so is there anything in the hour that you guys have been wanting to do? <laughs> what would have the happened the towards platform? the end of the hour, once it's been, like... I'll do a quick before we, like, go back, but... As it gets towards an hour, I will have cast sending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just been like, guys, where are you? I almost <laughs> oh finished God. my drink. Do you want me to order you something else? Who is this to? <laughs> I will send this to Brooks. Oh, okay. Uh, you can reply. In the middle if you of want. Paying for something right now. We'll be back soon. Order me. Uh, number two, and get Kess a random one. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll jump back if we go back tonight. <laughs> okay, so you're back, you're back at your table. Uh, you're waiting for. I've for... got a fucking massive thing. <laughs> back at your table, uh, the goblin lady walks up again. All right, is there anything else that I can do for you too? Four, two, two, two. I think we're okay for Four. now. At least I am. Can okay. I get to one hundred? One hundred. Okay. But I, actually, can I get uh, a random and can I get a number 69, please? All right. Coming right up. Uh, and she'll leave for a bit and then comes back. All right. For the number 100, we have the Ethereal Ale. Um, this drink has a bit of an effect on the way you look. Is something I should preface this with. Uh, it's called Ethereal Ale because the more of this you drink, the more you fade into the Ethereal Plane. So after your first serving of this, you just become slightly transparent. You're still visible, but slightly transparent. Um, so you have a second one. Objects will start to kind of fade through you a little bit from time to time. And um, if you manage to keep drinking and drink a third, then you will enter the Ethereal Plane. So typically we cut it off at two just for our customer safety, but there you go. As for the number 69, here I have a, a drink that we call Our Thoughts and Prayers. Um, <laughs> it's a brandy, but... Uh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it kind of works as a reverse detect thoughts spell. Uh, the people surrounding you will learn your surface thoughts when you've drank this drink. Oh, um, this <laughs> is amazing. You do not understand. Uh, this drink was never for me. The people that hear your surface thoughts increases <sighs> by two feet for every serving of this you drink. Oh, I'm sitting... Right, Jax, we put Brooks right between us two, right? <laughs> like 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. We even tell him this is a number. Jax, this is a number two. Okay, mm -hmm. I just. Mm -hmm. As for the random screen. one, uh, yeah. I have a number ten for you. Cool. Which is uh, a fairy fireball, uh, a cinnamon whiskey, oh, that's perfect, made with a touch of fey magic. Uh, oh. Causes a bit of hiccups. It's known to cause some hiccups uh, from time <laughs> to time, but uh, when you do hiccup, uh, there's a small cloud of shimmering breath that gets released. So it looks pretty, at least. Tastes very nice, though. That's. Sounds wonderful, thank you. So, let's kind of. Uh, is there anything, anything food-wise that you would like, by the way? I'll just um, 
Oh, look on. So they've given us that menu. Mm -hmm. What's the most expensive fish dish on there? The most expensive fish dish? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Like a sword? Uh, it'll probably be like a swordfish or like a like a big they ass like swords, like a, a monster lobster swordfish. kind of thing. Yeah, how much? Um, sixteen gold for the lobster dish. I will. This um lobster dish sounds. I mean, exquisite. Oh, it it, it, it is. Have one of those. It's, uh, they they get they're they're still alive. They get killed the moment it's just ordered. It's it couldn't be fresher, uh, and they're quite they're oh, quite big. They're quite big. So, um, normally like, this would serve about two people, but you know, you've been drinking, so I wouldn't blame you if you had a bit of bit of the you know the the. the, the do the, I get to pick the lobster or? Of course, of course, of course. There's a pool inside where we keep them all, and uh, you, you get to pick which one you want served. So, oh, wonderful. Yes, I'll have one of those. Jacks, what would you like? I'll have your finest calamari. Calamari, very good. Excellent. And I'll uh, kind of. Would you would you like um, any 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 like dipping sauces with that, or some bread maybe? Uh, butter, please. Butter. Okay. 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 We got a calamari and we've got the lobster. Um, if you just follow me inside, sir, we'll uh, we'll pick out your lobster for you, and um, I'll I'll open up a tab for you. Lots, I think. So you've had two rounds of drinks so far, and now some food. Well, I'll just I'll just write it all down and and charge you after the facts. All right? That's good. Okay. And now we'll um go. Yeah, you get on... you get brought to this like big ass tank, kind of like uh, at the back of the restaurant, and these lobsters, they they are huge. They are oh, twice, maybe three times the size a normal lobster would be. They are very big. So I've, like the size I've, of a small child? Nice. I've high dined. I've, <laughs> you know, I've been around this type of dish. I guess, can I, am I able to maybe pick out which lobster movie looks like it would be the best? Oh my gosh, you're the worst. Make an investigation check with advantage. Fucking hell yes. <laughs> oh my god, of Which one looks the most desperate to of, escape? Of... Of course, it's me. It's two very similar low numbers. <laughs> Investigation check. Yeah. Well, the highest was a seven. I rolled okay. a two and a three. The only thing you notice is that one of them I has just... like a more plump looking tail compared to the others. Oh, so I they're probably... Point. Yo, Sorry? dick. What? No, what happens is, is I look at that and just go, that one. I just point at one randomly. <laughs> just go, that one there. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh... It's that look I'm thinking. That they all look lobsters. Mm, yes, yes, interesting, interesting. Mm, yes. I'll have um. That this one, one there looks, looks sad. I'll have a chef <laughs> yeah. cook this up for you, real nice. Uh, food should be done in about fifteen minutes or so. Sounds absolutely wonderful. I'll go back and. And at this point in time, you kind of like you've, you've gathered, you've done some like sunbathing, some swimming, whatever <laughs> it is. Uh, had a couple, of, had uh, a couple of drinks before they come back. Oh, real mm. quick. Ish. Um, Lazarin. Yes. You have connections. Correct. You could say so, yes. Have you ever heard of a Ricard Pierslo? Have I ever heard of Ricard? <laughs> Make a history check. Get your fucking hell. 14. Sounds like an, a, a, a fancy name. Sounds pretty, pretty like established, but uh, pfft, you have no idea. No, it sounds like maybe someone from. The courts, but nothing that I can pinpoint. Don't have a face to the name, shall we say? Okay. Why is that? Uh, uh, is just someone I'm looking for. Looking old for. Friend. I would say old friend, or looking for because you want to get them before they get to you. Old friend. Okay. Well, I'll keep it near to the ground if I hear anything of it. But <laughs> trying to find one name in a sea of in a city is. You know. Yeah, he may not be here per mm. se. He's trying to find his whereabouts. Huh. Old pirating friend, or uh, something of the sort. You yeah, know who my friend to out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This this pineapple drink was pretty good. I'll tell you this now. It went. It went. You know when the drink just goes down too easy. Like the street doesn't feel like alcohol. Yes. It's just one of those type of drinks. Long Island. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> um, shall we say that... Any cocktail. Uh, 
<laughs> as your food arrives, that's also kind of when your friends come back, and we'll take our break mm. here, and then we'll pick this up in a few minutes after we uh, take our, take our half-time break. Loose time. What ah, the well. fuck, dude? So yeah, we'll be right back, we guys. Thank you so much for hanging out so far. Me. We appreciate you. Drink we'll be back in, in, a, in a, a few minutes, and then uh, we'll get to the second half of, uh, of the sesh, which is just going to be... Drunken shenanigans, I feel like. So that's that's always a good Drinks time. Drunken shenanigans? Drunken shenanigans? Never. Never Let's dude. break up the group, boys. It's a drinking episode. <laughs> split right. the party. Split, split the party. Woo -woo. Hello there. Hello. Kenobi. Yo, yo, yo. All right. We're back. Oh, Kenobi on Kenobi. You've all reunited at the on like the terrace area of the Red Fleet. Uh, it's getting towards the eve. You know, we're, we're creeping into the evening now. Um, yeah, what do you guys want to do? So there's your uh, your lobster and your your calamari has been served. Um, I you know, so I give Kess this number ten. Like, there's your random. There's your number two. And I'm ensure okay. that this man is right fucking next to me. <laughs> okay. They say what the uh, the number two was. Oh, I can't. What was it? It was like uh, thoughts and prayers. I thought it was quite fitting. Oh, of course, the fucking cleric god is in thoughts and prayers. Okay. Uh, sure. Fuck it. I'll give it a sip. What does it taste like? Uh, let me have a quick look. Hold on. Did they describe anything? Brandy. Um. Boom. Boom. Uh, it's a brandy, so it, it it tastes pretty, pretty average brandy like. Um, I will fucking chug it and then look at the food menu. Okay. Uh, as you're kind of like, as you're kind of like reading off the food choices, what are some like surface thoughts that 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 that, that Brooks would have right now? I get it, it's a sea town, but fuck me, there's a lot of fish dishes. Okay. Uh, that's expensive. Is that what Lazarin got? Yeah, of course he did. That's fucking pompous. <laughs> I knew it'd be a shit on a Lazarin. I just knew it would be somehow. <laughs> Brooks. I, yeah. How long does this last that we can hear Do his... you consider all of us friends? No. I mean... Yeah, I guess. What do we hear in your head? <laughs> Why does he want to know whether or not we're friends? It lasts five minutes. Uh... <laughs> so we have five minutes to ask him questions? Good. Good, good. Why does he want to know if we're friends? I mean, well, we've been yeah, I like these guys, and... but I could, I could always just cut and run if I need to. That's his thoughts, by the way. That's not something Oh, shit, yeah, dude, yeah. I wasn't... <laughs> I can't italicize my speaking. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> all right. Uh, the voice gangs, the gangs all together, I see. Uh, is there anything thoughts. I can get for you? Some more drinks? Uh, some food, perhaps? Well, I mean, that lobster was exquisite. What's, uh, what's on the food menu? Fish dishes and... Uh, mainly fish, yes. Uh, that's what we're most known for. But there's, there's some... Um, some 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 meat dishes as well as uh, our, our chef makes a pretty pretty good beef ragu if I say so myself. Ooh, Is there I a surf that. and turf? We do do surf and surf as well with a nice cut of steak and a, a lobster tail. I will order the surf and turf. Surf and turf, and for you the beef ragu. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyone else want anything? Drinks maybe, perhaps. Has I have ever had a beef ragu before? Nope. That's just Brooks's thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a number two, thank you. Number two? All right. Yes, please. Uh, anyone else? Any, uh, any drinks? Um, yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a, a number three. I've already done the number two, so. Mm -hmm. I'll have a twenty-five. I'll have another random. You didn't even have your number ten. I'm sipping it. All right, I'll uh, yeah, bring those drinks out shortly, and uh, yeah, yeah, guess waiting for it to. Uh, the food will be out in 
Give it, give it ten minutes, maybe. Thanks. Uh, and she'll come back eventually with the drinks. Right. Um, this here. The thing is, is she knew mm -hmm. that you were gonna pull this like prank, and you disguised mm -hmm. it as a number two. So now she's like, does he want an actual number two, or does he want? No, I'm number two. No. <laughs> Do you want a number two or a thoughts and prayers? I want a number two. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so for you, we have uh, the Banshee's Breath. Um, it's a, it's a, like a, as you, as you look at it, uh, Elazrin. How much different does it look like compared to the thoughts and prayers? Like how completely, different? Completely, completely. This is like a white swirling <laughs> liquor. Yes. Um, yes. Um, tastes very sweet. Um, has this... You ever had mint before and it just kind of always has this like it always kind of feels cold yeah. this drink does the same it's kind of like self cools in that sense um but it's very nice. sweet it's very um, nice and what's brooks thinking right now oh he's having a thought what the fuck? no what what's brooks brooks oh, is currently brooks thinking, thinking that's not drinking sorry, sorry. Re what brooks is currently thinking is What's his fucking goal? This man, my little gits, order me something different. <laughs> uh, the number three was for you, I believe, sir. Uh, this is. Have a look at number three. Uh, the mountains bounty. Um, this liquor uh, is mixed with uh, water from a from a glacial stream uh, back in um, back in the empire. Um, very, especially for, for where we are right now, it's, things get, you know, it gets warm, it gets very tropical. Uh, this drink will always kind of make you feel cooled down, and it's very nice to drink on a, on a hot summer day. <clears throat> uh, the number 25 was for... for you? Uh, this is called the Buried Treasure. Um, this is, uh... You get like this mug of uh, some pretty hard liquor, but there's a single very sweet hard candy stuck to the bottom of the mug. Um, buried treasure, so you drink the drink first, and then you get like a little spoon to dig up the, the candy treasure that's, un that's in the bottom of the mug, and you eat that. So Why have all Dax's drinks come with spoons? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like three or four spoons. It's, always, it's also funny that like the pirate gets the buried treasure uh, yeah. drink. It's uh, that's cute. And as for the it's random... Just point at the bottom. Uh, the random, we have number 59, which uh, is called Madman's Mead, and she'll put down a mug in front of you, Kess. Um, let's just say that when consuming this drink, you might start to go a little crazy, but it only lasts a short while. It's, it's a fun little gimmick. I'm oh, so there will be no difference. So what's the greatest? We won't get to the difference. You're, you're downing it, Kes? I'm downing it. <laughs> I mean, I've downed my drink as well. Mine, no. mine feels good. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. So for the next 10 minutes, Kes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you... are just laughing. Uncontrollably, non-stop for ten minutes, just <laughs> laughing so and giggling. Literally and... nothing changed. <laughs> She's the girl in the bar that gets too wasted. And just yeah. can't oh stop my god! Everything anyone <laughs> yeah, says. Like... Um, <laughs> so enjoy that for the next ten minutes. Um, your food also gets uh, served. So there's this beef ragu put in front of you, Kess, and the surf and surf in front of uh, Brooks. All right. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, let me know. I'll be around. <laughs> the noodles look like snakes. That'll be the drink again. Are we still hearing Brooks's thoughts? Uh, you'll, you're like on the last minute of that. Uh, Brooks. <laughs> what? Yeah, I feel the need to ask since our earlier conversations revealed certain things. Um, is there anything you or others may not have told the whole party? Oh, I mean, all of us have secrets, surely, but nothing that's gonna come and bite us as a group in the ass. What what are the surface thoughts that kind of arise with this question? <laughs> I'm trying to think of how Brooke could phrase that in his head. 
Is he, does he suddenly think of all the things and going through like, no, that won't affect, that won't affect, or is he going, what the fuck does he want now? He thinks of one specific thing. Yeah. And then... No, that'll be fine, because that will only affect me if we ever go back. And we're not planning to go back to... We're not planning to go back there. Brooks, planning to go back where? I just... <laughs> I'm just gonna look at him and think, what the fuck? The chick is up. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something where we can't go, I think we should know. No, 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 no. First things first, what the fuck is going on? No, I don't know. You, what? you, you little just... shit bag. Fucking Hello. didn't order me a number two. What did you order me? Oh, I, no, I don't number. I starts for a random. What does the thoughts and prayers do? Uh, we well, hear your thoughts. It just so happens. So for, since I sat down and fucking drank with you, you've been hearing everything I thought. I mean, yes. not everything. E just... Even the random fucking woman that walked past, who's, who I sort of looked at, you heard that. I mean, base, as long as the base thoughts, yes. Which was great was you reading the menu. That was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're right, I was pretty fucking smarmy at the time. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you so much. You know but what? I didn't order, I'll be honest with you, Brooks. I did order it intentionally for you. I did order a random. By random, I mean I picked the number 69 because I thought it'd be funny. And then they told me what it did. I thought, well, you're definitely having that one. <laughs> right, so you fucked up my counting system. Of course. I was going to give everyone else their fucking bath towels for free, but you can pay for yours. That's absolutely it's fine. It's fucking gold piece of towel. That's an expensive towel. I do not believe you for a second. <laughs> it's hey, am I nice towel. still up? We'll say that right at this point is where it, like, it got I have a passive inside of 18, bitch. <laughs> I can tell <laughs> if you're fucking lying. <laughs> Maybe not, you know. Make an inside check. And Brooks, make a deception check. Passive inside of 18, gang. Woo. My passive insight is 80. That's disgusting. 23. My passive investigation is 18. <laughs> you know. What you roll? A 10? Because I rolled a 2 on the die? <laughs> nice, dude. Well, we're rolling 23, so huh? maybe they're just very well made um, can towels. I, man. Can I fill the towel? There can was I? exactly one option of towel. I'm pretty sure this guy knows he has the market corner for good uh, shops. You went to a fucking tourist trap place, didn't you? Well, there's four shops, my guy. My god. Uh, that, Where am yeah, I supposed so to go? Everywhere. True. <sighs> really yeah, so where are we not going back to? Fuck. But my coins are so nicely eaten up. Brooks. It's somewhere. One. I have some personal I give, drama. I, I give Brooks the fucking gold. Okay. Okay, I take the gold. Motherfucker. <laughs> I do what the number two was rather nice. Shame you well, missed out, really. I assume that nobody gets bored thoughts and prayers during card games because that's fucking deceitful. Jack's going through No, I shouldn't be doing allow certain I shouldn't be doing allow certain drinks at that table. <laughs> I think that'd be uh shouldn't the people be drinking with I don't think anyone would take up the offer anyways. I, I cool suppose one. Can you Can you bluff your own surface thoughts? Could you drink one and no, then sit there and go, I've got a pair of kings, I've got a pair of kings, I've got a pair of kings. No, Ooh, that sounds you... like a fun experiment. No, because I feel like your initial thought would say, oh, this is a good hand, or this is my hand. So they'll all hear that, and then they'll hear you go, no, wait, don't see your actual hand, say this. No, it's all about self-control. You're just not a very good liar. <laughs> what if I just don't look at I my character? I'm a fantastic liar. You're not a very good liar. 
What if I'm I just really don't look at my cards the entire time? You should be blind? Well then, you, that's even worse for you. Or is well, it? Then no one knows what you have. Yeah, but neither does he. So? So that means he's always the still state going to lose. Decent, I've seen someone win that way. Very good. Yes, but they don't win It's all in your off. confidence. Yeah, but they don't win Do they have the time catch that way. <laughs> Do they not get served ketchup? Okay, that's fine. I was joking, by the way. Brooks does not have ketchup on steak. What are you talking about? It's the best thing to have on steak. Oh, ketchup. anyone who does get deserves get to get shot. Mm -hmm. Now, Bob, sauce have, is good on steak. Okay. I will have ketchup on the sides. Yeah, with soap and chips. Yeah. Me and fries? No. Yeah. Don't like no ketchup. You're fries. wrong. I'm, wrong. A, I'm a mushroom sauce stan. <laughs> Mushrooms just got bayonets. Bayonets sauce, sauce is fucking fire, too. <clears throat> Bear mayonnaise. A good steak should stand on its own. Garlic butter. True. Oh, garlic butter is pretty good. Okay. sauce is pretty good as well. Anyway. True. Anyway. Okay. We eat our food. Eat After food. you blatantly ignore Jax. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I answered Jax. I said that hmm? I had some stuff going on at home. Okay. Uh, well, we could go back there to fix it. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, no, alright. Fair enough. I would also like to avoid my family drama as much as possibly possible. I mean... <laughs> when it comes to family drama... <laughs> I would... Very much like to know about mine, but also... I'd Really don't want to hear it. Just in case it's awful. <clears throat> yeah, see, at least mine's not some like magical, fucking mumbo jumbo conspiracy shit. Yes, fantastic news. Isn't that just great? Oh, you mean like how they pushed Electrum out to the market to make room for just gold and silver? <laughs> Do you reckon that's actually because the Empire had stocks of silver and gold and not Electrum, and by pushing Electrum out of the market, they inflated their own value? I think they were really just targeting pirates because it, we would end up getting electrum all the time through shipping vessels and whatnot, and uh, you know, and I they don't have much. Of it, they may as well get just start being like. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, this talk would be great for me. I love it. However, why, why electrum, Jacks? Why electrum? Please, for the love of God. Well, it's just. It's just a, a, a better currency. It's literally not. It was so awful. No it, combines, it, it combines the great sheen of silver combined with the value of gold. Right. Let's. I know what we'll do. We'll mix two perfectly fine currencies and make one awful currency. <laughs> I mean, the question is. <laughs> Do we only think it's an awful currency because we never really had Electrum around? Yes, you were not. You did not see Electrum at its finest heyday. Right. Cool. Again, sort of just a waste of metal. <laughs> That's what people thought about the blockchain at first, too. Oh, stop this. <laughs> I. <laughs> what it's done, it, it, it will revolutionize how people ah, yes. pay for their goods. The, the arcane blockchain. I feel like stop. no. Stop. No. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it no. right now. Physi <laughs> the, physical current, the physical currency will never go. That is fallacy. And, you know, no, who's ever but, just going to okay. magically make up you have the, a number? The, the, the arcane the physical yeah, nobody, introduced... Nobody's going to put their money in banks where they just don't actually have the money anymore and they just keep yeah, it. The bank just loans out the you money know. and invests exactly. it. They, they don't themselves. just keep arcane ledgers of how much money you have without actually having that money on site. And that <laughs> and money how are you going to get it out? Is that is that just, that? Yeah. just sitting there. <laughs> Guess is While laughing, the yeah. <laughs> She's just singing a song to herself, just vibing. <laughs> like, it is insane know. that anyone would they give us like a special pass to get our money out? No, that's that's well, identification also heard of this card. New thing that some majors are working on. It's very, very new. But what they do is they take a picture oh, and then they? make it arcane, 
Drawn with all, all sorts of sigils and magic. Oh, is and this these arcane monkeys? As like a second um, piece. You you uh, invest via the, via the main. You always you, need you, gold. You don't okay. actually own the, the thing, you just own the picture. Jax, roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 21. You were so invested in your talk that you didn't notice the fact that you got stabbed in the back by like 10 knives, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you make him roll a con save? Because it's funny. <laughs> also, he rolled high enough to not- What is it with you and stabbing player characters in the back? Anyway, um, yeah, you guys bro. have these anyway, fascinating good conversations RP. about uh, <laughs> trying to canonize cryptocurrency in my campaign. That will not. What the economic, <laughs> what the economic um, system change of how we want to go into a cashless society, which it has been staunchly against. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> One more fucking word, crypto, and bro. I'll drop a nuke. Brooks, Brooks bullies <laughs> um, Lazarin for not wanting a cashless society because eventually it means he can't uh, the goblin, <laughs> the goblin server uh, walks by a table and. Um, gonna be doing our lock-in in about 30 minutes. Uh, any any drinks you want before we're gonna move this party inside? Random! Random? Uh, I'm assuming we can still get drinks when we're under lock-in and everything. And... Of course, of course. Also, I don't think we ever actually got your name or introduced ourselves in any way at all, really. You didn't? I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's been smoking a lot. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jeffrey. Uh, so, uh, do we all want a random, or...? I will have... I'll have... Red wine. I will have... Boring. Just some fruit juice. Yeah. I'll have a sunken kingdom iced tea. <laughs> I'm just going to give you all a random. How about this? No, 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 no. That's not what I ordered, though. Because I ordered a white wine, you see. I would like something non-alholic, please. All right. I'd also like to serve me up as well. I'm glad you agree with him. Brooks, are like, you feeling okay? <laughs> yeah, so I'm feeling great. Also, all right, so two randoms. I'm Brooks. Uh, nice to meet you. Two no, randoms, a red wine, and an apple and juice. Name. My name? Whatever I made want. this whole point of pointing out that we hadn't introduced ourselves and asked your name, and then you blew me off. I know. Cool. Anyway. Good to know. Could you even make up a name? We just believed you straight away. No, mm. I like this. This is fun. I was gonna say, this is way fun. I feel like making up a name implies malicious intent, whereas this is just being chaotic. It's just like... Are you saying I'm malicious? Being chaotic? It's more like... Are you admitting that you made up your name to us, Jeffrey? No, I'm just saying I've done it before. <clears throat> All right, I'll bring those drinks out now. Uh, so you get served a red wine, you get served an apple juice, and two randoms for the boys. For uh, the boys. For the blues. <laughs> for the blues. Uh, Jack. You get served a Willow the Whiskey. Uh, it's a whiskey uh, which Fire. causes minor hallucinatory effects. Um, as you drink it, you can see like this, like from the corner of your eyes, it's like tingling light. Um, basically as if someone cast a dancing light spell, but it's constantly like in your peripheral. When you look, go to look to it, it moves as well. Oh, that's so, so fucked up. <laughs> so fucked up. Uh, Kess. You get served a Smyrnome, which is, uh, oh, this is perfect. It's a vodka, but <laughs> as you drink it, it just fills your brain with the weirdest ideas. You suddenly <laughs> get this idea of, like, inventing this, in like, the sunlight storing clockwork pigeon to hunt vampires with, and you want to tell Jax, because you know Jax will probably make it. It's crazy. So enjoy that. Jax! <laughs> you were going to Jax. Yes? I have a brilliant idea for you. You're going to make so much electrum off this idea. 
What if, okay, imagine you're hunting for vi vampires and it's dark and you can't see anything. You know what can see things all the time? Birds! Birds can always see everything all the time. I've talked to them. I know this for a fact. <laughs> Get a pigeon, mechanical pigeon, and then make a hot vampires and it'll be oh, wait, 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 something like this and i'll pull out one of my little like it's like a little i don't know maybe yay high like a little bird mm -hmm. that when i touch its head just like flashes a light oh man you already made it <laughs> Such a good idea. Oh, well it doesn't target vampires or anything Oh, I'm still a genius. As as soon as like that that idea uh, passes, uh, Kes, you just get this another just like brilliant idea oh, of this. It's like paper, right? But it's not. Oh, no. It's actually like this very thin sheet metal that can be used to kind of like there's like these like lines cut out of it, and it's just like. On the surface, it just looks like a piece of sheet metal, but you can fold it and break it in a certain way and fold it into just like this like pocket knife, uh, which you think that this is the next big thing. And then I will never need to like give up my weapons again when I can go somewhere and I will just have a piece of paper. What? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> piece of metal, okay? Okay. Looks, looks like paper and then you break it and it turns into a knife. You, like unfold it, it's like but, a gummy knife made of metal. Yeah, but if it's if it's all metal, don't you cut your own hand on the knife? No, 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 no! You just have to be good with knives, man. Right, and you're a knife expert, are you? I have like six knives in my bag right now. Owning knives does not make you a <laughs> knife expert, okay? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'd be dead. And Right. Mm. Where has this? I was, I was I, it's that. It's that. Where has this sudden inspiration? Look, just looks at the drink. <laughs> it's just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Any more brilliant ideas, guys? <laughs> Any more brilliant ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a battle question, not a Dutch mm. question. Any any improv skills? The stupidest invention that you can think of. <clears throat> Or the best. Or the best. What about a bug fly that's a bomb? Oh, what? What did you? What did you just say? Huh? It's like a little butterfly, so you can like fly it into other rooms, and no one will know what it is, and then boom, it's a huge bomb. Well, okay. I suppose I could build a mechanical butterfly that could hover, maybe, and then <laughs> yeah, stuff it full see? of gunpowder. Would you be able to have enough explosive in something that small to make an actual? Kaboom. Oh, we could be getting a bigger butterfly. How big do butterflies grow? I mean, jung that ones in the jungle? Look like a butterfly, per se. I mean, have you seen jungle moths? They're huge. No, those are some big butterflies. Well, they're moths, I guess. But they're different. moths, not butterflies. It's flying insects, same difference. Well, I'm going to write that down. Picking ant. Uh, funnily picking enough, ant. Uh, after this, like tomorrow morning, I'll, just let, I'll tell you now, is that. Jax will have all these ideas written down, but oh. Kess will have no memory of ever thinking of these ideas. <laughs> a lock picking Anne. Yeah, I can climb into the locks and pick it. It's great Imagine for you guys who can't pick board. locks. I'm writing that one down too. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. No. <laughs> I actually now, like that one. Now, could it not be an ant? Because, you know, my history with ants isn't amazing. It could be a spider. I know books love spiders. Oh, I have, I have a mechanical spider. spider. What about a beetle? Mm. What should we have a beetle? What about a snake? <gasps> yes. It's too big. No, it it, it, really... one of the small, like, garden snakes. It might be like a or worm. A worm. <sighs> <laughs> I'll write that down. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <Not> picking worm. <laughs> it wouldn't be great for it all because it would just like coin itself up and just be like. I'm just gonna put these on the back burner. <laughs> no, just gonna. Just gonna. <laughs> what's put this what's in my gonna idea be book? 
what's going to be great is it's going to be like 20 sessions time. We're going to forgotten this happened. And this man's going to be like, show up, be so like, Dutch. Like <laughs> yeah, so Dutch. I got this. <laughs> I need this material, this material, this material. I'm making a lock picking worm. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for it. All right, so time passes and the lock-in gets announced and uh, it's getting a little chilly as well. You're sitting at the beachside and it's, you know, it's, it's dark now, it's evening, so it's definitely a lot colder than it is during the day. As you get inside and all the patrons leave that aren't guests uh, that, that spend the night, um, immediately card decks and, and dice get, get, like, pulled from under the bar. Uh, this black dragonborn that uh, runs the place has now also arrived, and he's kind of, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our um, usual. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Uh, it is time for our usual uh, entertainment after lock in has been announced. Um, variety of games set up for you all. Um, betting and buy ins are listed per game. Uh, just have a look around. Uh, if you want to. Buy some more drinks, some, some snacks. Obviously, the kitchen and bar are still open for you as well. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And he'll uh, he'll kind of just like walk around and vibe. Uh, at that point in time, the, that, uh, the goblin lady that's been serving you all day also approaches. Now, there's this one table that I run, all right? And we play... A game that I like to call Hand of Fate. It's a 50 gold buy-in, but um, it's good. It's good. I'm in. I go over. All right. Anyone else? <laughs> 50 such a gold addict, dude. I gotta stop. I I'll say yes. Like, sure. Sounds like good fun. All right. I'll lose all my money tonight. Hey, fucking fine. All right. You want to play as well? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sure. Alright, so that's 200 gold, and that will be the pot, and the winner will take all, unless, God forbid, there's a draw, but it's it's, it's a pot, and whoever wins the, the hand wins the entire amount. So, alright, so you're playing a Hand of Fate. Yep, I'm in. So, first things first, we'll go with Jax. Um, I need you to roll a d12, but keep it okay. a secret from everyone else. Okay. Okay. Um, everyone else do this as well, so roll a d12, keep the result a secret. Mr. DM. Hello. Mm -hmm. Am I familiar with this game? Um, no. Okay. You are not. This is something that are we in game rolling dice as well? Are fabricated by uh, this tavern. You get dice given to you. You're not allowed to use your own dice. You're getting, you're getting okay. the dice given to you <laughs> by... Uh, Okay. By, by the the goblin lady, so yeah, all all four of you D twelve. Keep your result a secret. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So now that you've all rolled your die, right? Obviously, the higher you get, the better. Um, so based on that, we now do a betting round where I'll go around the table and ask if you guys wanna 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 bet. You wanna just check and keep going, or you can fold if you're not feeling confident. So we'll start with you there, Mister Mister Blue Man. Jeffrey, was it Jeffrey? Yes. Would you would you like to, uh, to to raise the bets, perhaps, or uh, is there a limit to the raise? Well, it depends. Uh, the, the the risk here is you're basically playing Texas Hold'em. Um, mm -hmm. The risk here is that if you wins. if you bet too much, then your friends might fold, and then you know what I mean. I will bet seventeen gold. Seventeen gold. I gotta start writing this down. Yeah, so it was a 50 gold buy-in, and now you're raising the, your bet by 17 gold. <laughs> All right, 17 gold. Uh, how about you, miss? You Are you going to follow up with that bet, or do you do, do you want to just tap out now? 17 gold. I'll go, I'll go in, yeah. Okay. How about the rest? Uh, I will fold. Okay. Hello? I'll pull. You're folding? I'll call. Oh, you're calling? I'm okay, okay. Here. You throw in 17 as well. Uh, all right. Now, roll another d12. Another d12? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I'm going to roll anyway. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. Sorry. D8. Oh, After that, I or she now rolls a D12. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad it wasn't me rolling. And, uh, Same, I got a two. I rolled a ward. It's a, t it's a 10, <laughs> and she puts the 10 on the table, and that's the community die. So you're playing Texas Hold'em, so you know what I'm saying? That 10 mm -hmm. is just there for that, everybody to that's use. Up. Dude, this Long. is cool. I like this game. Um, Once again, you have the uh, uh, opportunity to, to, to raise your bets if you want. Uh, we'll check. And it goes without saying that uh, someone wins when... <laughs> highest combined value uh, of your own die and the community dice. Okay. So you take the, the, the dice that are on the table, you add it to what you have, and whoever has the highest total wins the pot. So it's basically just whoever rolls the highest. Yeah, but Pretty it's much. with extra steps to make it a little more interesting. Plus you could always fake having a higher die, get people to Yeah, this, out. this involves oh you yeah. some betting, yeah, and like yeah, no, no, people yeah. out. But yeah, essentially it's just who rolled the highest, but... <clears throat> Alright, Jeffrey, call you're calling. Jeffrey, what did you, uh, what, what, what are you doing? I, I, I checked. Checked. Can I, huh. can I add more money? Of course. Then I'll add another 17. Another 17? Mm. Right. Do you guys call? I'll raise you. You called it, didn't you? To 33. <gasps> oh, 33 is now the bet. Okay. Do I have to match that now? Yeah, so you already put 17 down. If you want to keep playing, you have to throw down another, what, 16? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. How about you, sir? 33 gold to call? I'll push the 33 in. God. Okay. We're uh, going to bankrupt each other. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> Why I folded with my shit roll. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> she puts another uh, D12 on the table, which is a 5. So there's a 10 and a 5 on the table. All right. This is the moment. There is currently... 33, 200, 100. plus 17, 34, 51, so that's 251, plus 99 because of the 333s, so that is, there's currently 350, that's, that's a great amount actually, 350 gold on the table, Ooh. now that both Ooh. dice, both community dice are known, final chance, if you want to raise oh. your stakes. Question DM before I do mm -hmm. anything. If you have like a matching number to the table, potentially, I'm not saying I do, I'm not saying I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, do you get like double points for that or anything no. like that? No. Or okay, there's no bonus having matching dice. No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, it's a cringe game. Sure. We only get to roll one cringe. One no matches. You know Let's go. I'm gonna roll cringe for my game. raise. Okay. Seventy-three gold. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> no. I just rolled a seventy-three. That's yeah. I know. I could. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm 73! I'm in! <laughs> oh my I'll God. match it as well. Dude, Fuck we're it. gonna split the pot, dude. Just Hold watch. On. We're gonna steal the Lazarus money and that's it. What's gonna be great about this is if I've actually rolled the highest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the total in the pot right now is 569 gold. There's 15 Nice! <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> <laughs> there is 15 on the table. Jeffrey, would you reveal what you rolled, please? I rolled it a 12. 12. So that is... <laughs> That's why I asked about doubles, because I wanted to make sure. So that is a 27 total. Um, You've pretty much already won, unless somebody else also rolled a 12. Does anyone, anyone here roll a 12? I'm glad we went by first roll, I'm not second roll, because my second was a 2, but my first was a 12. Yeah, my first second one was a 1, dude. <laughs> I had 11. 11? So you're out, no, Kes. Dude. Brooks yeah. also rolled a 12. Oh, Jack splitting. Yeah. Let's go! Alright, you're splitting. Uh, so the I rolled works, the biggest the six is, of my life. The way this works is 20% <laughs> of the pot gets gets contributed to the casino, or to the to the pub in nice. this place. Bastards. But, the remaining 80%, I guess, gets split up. So let me just quickly do some math here real quick. Oh, <laughs> fuck, man. <clears throat> oh, and Lazarin's gonna hate this game. All the odd numbers. No, what I hate about this game is we don't get to roll two secret dice, we get to roll one. Uh, so you get yeah, right. uh, Honestly, 227 gold each. 227? Yes. 
that's including what we put in though right and it's just a, it's just a total pots divided by uh whatever so yeah that's including what you put in did you get a total amount back of 227 which because you split the pot the profit margin isn't that great so we still made about 150 gold no yeah. less no we made about about 80 each Remember but uh, yep. obviously because you split the pot the profit margin is a lot less good but normally it's like a one winner takes everything kind of thing and then it's a lot better all right um there's another game being played uh that is probably something a little more uh familiar to most of you um yeah no uh, fuck this game liar's dice yeah. we also have a game called timora spinner which is um it's roulette roulette oh fuck roulette. yes there's roulette oh, yeah put me in on roulette. that roulette <laughs> roulette um <laughs> So the way Tamora Spinner, uh, Tamora's Spinner works is, uh, it's a 10 gold buy-in minimum, but you can obviously bet as much as you want, but the minimum is 10 gold, right? Um, you compete to basically guess a number between, uh, 1 and 20, and, or you can bet on whether the result will be odd or even, uh, once the, the spinner has rolled the results. Uh, if you guess the exact number, you win triple the original amount you put in. Put in. Uh, if you guess the odd or even outcome, you get a, a one and a half times payout. Am I able to do multiple? I had to do multiple bets. So and the losers bet bets are being a... the loser bets obviously get taken by the by the by the tavern. Um, if you yeah, want, of course, you can you can you can do multiple. Yes, of course. So, I shall I get the spinner out? Dice. What was that? I want to go play Liar's Dice. I'm not going to play Tomorrow's Spinner. Okay. Is anyone here wanting to play Tomorrow's I'll, Spinner? I'll, I'll play Tomorrow's Spinner. What numbers do we bet through again? Sorry. 1's 20. Uh, anywhere between 1 and 20. Dutch is going to roll a d20. I'm rolling a d20 and that's going to be the result, yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. So, I'm odds and evens. Sorry? I'm going to go sit with Burks while he plays and just okay. watch that game. I'll put uh, 25 gold on 16. 25 gold on 16? 20. I'll put uh, 22 gold on 9. Okay. Keep it. Keep that in. Do you, like, write it down or something so that we, we know. Yeah. And then I'm going to put... 10 gold. Actually, I'll put 12 gold onto it being evens. Okay. Bets are placed. And the spinner, like, there's a little ball. It's, it's like a roulette table. Oh my. Um, the result is a 20. So, sorry, sir. Your bet has gone into, the, into our pockets, but. Uh, you did, you did bet, you bet even, right? Evens, yep. Alright, well, with 12? Bet 10 on even. 12. About 12. 12 on even. So 12, you get 18 yeah. gold back, uh, I don't know how much you put in total. Like, that, that other bet, you lost, obviously, because you didn't yeah, get but the number, in. but... I mean, like... You get 18 gold back. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get for another yeah. game? Uh... Put 100 sure. gold on odds. Okay. <laughs> I will use. put 18 gold. What is with these numbers? <laughs> just basically just do my math of what I've got. And like, also, we can split it up between his pockets. You're annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's just the number I got back. I fucked my split pockets. And that 50 gold really fucked me up <laughs> okay. earlier. So I just, I, I, I fucked my whole system because you, you fucked me with numbers. Uh, I'll put, I'll put 18 gold on to the number six. Number six, and you put a hundred on odds, so go. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Soko, you lose your one hundred gold, <laughs> but the result <laughs> is a six. Let's go. <laughs> so, so yeah, how, how much did you? How much did you put in? It's 18? a one in twenty 18. chance, but it's one only in. a three times. So you get a, three times eighteen, so that is fifty-four, 54. gold back. Fucking. Hell yeah, what's 70 plus 50, 424. That again? Oh no, I've won my share now. I'm good, thank you. You you're on a you're on a losing streak. Surely this next one will be it, right? No. 
Fuck it. I'm throwing a hundred on it's odds. Hundred on hundred on odds. All right. It's knowing when to stop, Jax. Jax doesn't know the meaning. <laughs> and the tides have turned with a seven. So you win. Here's your one hundred and fifty gold. Want to make this a streak? You're already fifty gold down now. I'll put a hundred and fifty gold on. Oh. Don't pick it up, pick it up. Go on, let me pussy. <laughs> My nuts. On an eleven. Eleven? God. Okay. Dude, if you hit an eleven, I'm gonna cry. No. No, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. It's a three. Don't do that to me. It's a three. It's a what? It's a three. Fucker. It's <laughs> no, because that's, that's still good for you. It's odd. No, no. He, he bet on 11. Oh, no, because you 11. just did fucking yeah, just 11. Numbers, mm -hmm. so... well, you're now and 200 gold unfortunately, down. no streak, sir. I'm going to steal from this establishment now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for another game, perhaps? I'm good. All right. So meanwhile... My dude um... just lost all of his winnings from the fucking <laughs> first game. Yep. And that is why oh. I said nope to that. All I've managed to do is win 20 gold in general. Like, that's all I've done being here. <laughs> is, yeah, but you lost 50. <clears throat> no, no, but I obviously do. One. No, but obviously because of my two wins. You've lost right. 72. Let's come back. I've, right, so at I've the liars, just at the liar's back. dice. Um, You're even. Is being ran like, by literally. the Black Dragonborn. Got plus 12. <laughs> uh, there's currently two people already sitting down, and uh, are, if you join, you'll be, you'll be the third player, uh, Brooks. Come on, guys, join in. You'll love this. No, I'll just watch for now. All right, I'm sure you are you all familiar out. with the game of Liar's Dice. Do I need to explain the rules before we get started? See, I know in and out of character Liar's Dice, because I have run this. Do you want to explain for chat and these yeah, sure. three? Um, the way Liar's Dice works is everybody gets five six-sided dice, uh, roll them and keep their rolls hidden from prying eyes of their fellow players um each turn a player gets to bid on a face value um and the number equal to the number of dice showing that face value so when a player's turn comes at one after another they can either challenge the previous player's bid or make an even higher bid if you want to raise it uh, you should uh, you uh, once a bid is challenged all dice are revealed winning condition um Sorted out by whoever guessed correctly. If the bid is true, the bidder wins. If the bid is false, the challenger wins, and the bidder is eliminated. Any questions? Very oh, good. So good the buy-in for this is a minimum of ten gold pieces. So how about we start with just a round of ten gold each? Cool. I'll buy in for ten. All right. Contestants, roll your dice. Big money. No Rolling for the other two contestants. Do I have enough D6s? I fuck, I sure as fuck do. Interesting game, this one. There's like a strategy to it that I don't know if I've mastered. God. Right, so who's going? What's the turn order like? Uh, it'll be the two uh, randos first, and then you, you, you'll be the final one, uh, Brooks. Okay. So one of the contestants uh, is um, someone you recognize, actually. It's the shopkeep from the... From, it's Josiah from the shop that uh, that's already sitting there and, and playing, playing, playing Liar's Dice. Um... Hmm... How about three threes? Three threes, ooh. The person after is uh, a dwarven individual. How about five fours? Brooks. Okay. So, our character. Mm -hmm. This guy's claimed to have five fours. From 5d6. Now, I don't have something better than that. 
So mm -hmm. I can either lie and one-up that, to mm -hmm. which you'll go back down to the, the guy at the start, and he'll have to either challenge me or one-up that, which we're now at a sort of height of numbers where if I say, oh, I've got five fives or five sixes, because that's my only option, you either go up in number or up in value or both. Yeah, yeah. So I can only say five fives or five sixes or challenge. If I say five fives or five sixes, the next guy, he's an idiot if he doesn't challenge that. Uh, there's only three so of you. There's only three of you. I mean, I guess like, you could go around. Yeah, it yeah, circles around. around, around, around yeah, that's true, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm going to challenge. I challenge that. I think you're bluffing. Dude. The dice get revealed. And I genuinely rolled <laughs> All fours on this set of five d six. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's absolutely fucking disgusting. <coughs> I know, I know, I know. So uh, okay. So I lose my ten. Yeah. Um, and then it's just them two. They go again because I'm eliminated. Yeah. You're a liar. Do be true. He's gonna roll. Oh my, what the fuck? I just rolled a full house. What the fuck? No, oh no, fuck you. Playing fucking Yahtzee out here, dude. <laughs> Play fucking um, Yahtzee, dude. Just based on this roll, number one wins. So he takes 25 gold and five gold goes Josiah. to the tavern. Yeah, Josiah. Okay. I'll go again. All right. Any, uh, do you uh, perhaps want to join as well? Uh, miss. Is my roulette? No, I'm fine just here as a lucky charm. All right. As you're, oh. Yeah, sure. We can say that your roulette's done at this point. I'll come. Okay. Enjoy. What's the buy? Uh, we did 10 gold last round. We can do another 10 gold round if you want. Sounds excellent. All right. Everybody. My bank account hurts. Roll your dice. 5d6. So you can only claim like full numbers, right? <laughs> Sorry? You no, you can. So you. St it'll start. Someone will claim. And they claim mm. to have X amount of X value. So they might say, I've got three yeah, ones. Saying, yeah, so you can only do like one number is what I'm saying. You can't be like, I've got yeah, two of this yeah, one. You one can't do like a full house. You can't like full house it, for example. No. Thing, yeah. So you could say you like, I've got two twos or I've got one yeah, six. Got... In... But you, cool. the last person, you either need to go up in value yeah. or in number. Yeah. All right. So Josiah kind of like sits there. <clears throat> Two fours. The other, the dwarven individual. Three fours. Brooks. Three sixes. Three sixes. Lazarin. I kind of look at Brooks. Oh, I don't trust you, Brooks. I think you're a liar. Do you ever? Are you challenging me? I do challenge you. All right. I'm not bluffing. I've got three sixes. I got fucking picture that. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you enough. <clears throat> it's definitely not because I had fuck all. <laughs> I mean, you could have bluffed. Yeah, but if with three six, I can play four sixes. Yeah, like yeah, I've sort of fucked okay, you that. So, <laughs> yeah. Elazrin, you get eliminated. Yep. Because you uh, falsely called out uh, a bluff. Yep. Um... So all dice are revealed, uh, so we just re-roll, and it's just uh, the three of you now. Yeah, give us another live dice where we play against, we do with all the dice on the table. Mm -hmm. Proper yeah. liar's dice, like it's some... The, whatever fucking... So Josiah will, uh, film was in. look at his dice. Mm -hmm. Three threes. See, I'm at a disadvantage by going third. Yeah. But... So Josiah goes three threes. The dwarven individual... Three fours. Four fours. Four fours. Josiah will look at you. I yeah. I think you're full of shit. Are you willing to to put thirty five grand on it? Thirty five thirty five gold on it. <laughs> Fuck me. It's not part of the game. Reveal your dice. No, as in liar. Are you gonna challenge me and lose the pot of? Oh yes, of course, of course. 
Liar. Ooh, my poor boy. Did you have four? I'll reveal my dice. I got three fours. I got three fours and a one. <laughs> four fours. Four fours. Four fours and a one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, damn. Sorry. All right. I'm out. So now it's between you and the dwarven. Uh, dwarven These are board. like thoroughly mediocre liars dice rolls. It's just everyone challenges very early. Mm -hmm. Because everyone's got fuck all. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. All right, roll again. Uh, watch me get fucked now. Well, that's room three for me. Oh, no. We have it with two ones. Two ones. Three twos. Twos. At eight. Four ones. I don't believe you. The challenge. You challenge him and he reveals two ones, a two, a three, and a five. I have three <clears> twos, <throat> a six, and a one. All right. That was so, a shit hand. That was a 40 gold pot. So, so house you, takes five. House takes five, you get 35. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, you guys are gambling. You guys are vibing. Uh, at some point uh, throughout the night, you also get asked to, to pray for your like food and your drink stab, which is a total of 6, 12, 22, 30, 50 gold exactly. Like total. I got that. Okay. Uh, Jax is covering that tab. Anything you guys want to do After he lost money. before uh, it's it's night night time? So it's late, but hmm? we could all go to the beach now, or we could have a fairly not early night, but not unreasonable night, and then. And you wanted to go trinket shop, Cass, so we could do that mm. in the morning, then go to the beach. Yeah, okay. I mean, I have, in, like, yeah, I have, have some things to tomorrow, tomorrow, but... You, you want to go to the beach now and tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing quite like a moonlit walk on the beach, Brooks. Are you coming? Of course. Let's go to the beach, and you coming, Jack? I think it's my bedtime. <laughs> and I'll head off to my room. Okay. I'll, um... Walk with Kess and Brooks. I will bring three beach towels. All right. Unless <laughs> one of the other two is going to join us as well. Nah, we'll just say that they go to the room as well. Okay. I'll bring three beach towels. I will head up to my room briefly and I will come back down. Mm -hmm. And a comfy shirt that is like half buttoned up. And some swimming shorts. Brooks is wearing like a like a polo shirts kind of thing, dude. Just like that. Brooks is a polo dad. If Brooks would ever like get kids <laughs> and go on a holiday, he'd be walking around like polo shirts all fucking day, dude. Mm -hmm. Nah, Brooks is a full on like Hawaiian shirt. Oh, fuck off. Like unbuttoned, <laughs> just with his with his chest out. All right. So Brooks is looking like a complete tourist right now. <clears throat> I will even okay. try and find a lure if I can. Exactly the same. At some point on this walk, I, if we walk like into like the water a bit, I would have taken off my shoes and rolled up my like trousers or whatever you want to fucking. Oh, I'm I'm shoeless as well. And just like I taken off the shoes. And we'd have just you know walked in the in the water a little bit. Water. Kind of the water. Okay. Well, lovely evening. So what you see right now is just like it's a it's a pretty like the water is pretty calm right now. There's not much going on. There's not much ships sailing about. So there's not really any waves being created to like splatter onto the shore. Uh, every you know every few seconds or so, you get you see like the lighthouse kind of like lighting up the beach as it's doing its like laps. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty clear night as well. Very very pretty night sky full of stars to look at. Does anyone else find the serenity quite unnerving? The what? The serenity? Yeah. I find it relaxing and peaceful after the turbulent time we've just had. Yeah, That's I do think I it is it supposed it to be relaxing. Up. Because you're not used to being relaxed? No. <laughs> I feel like something's gonna jump out and ruin it. 
You made me a fight. You don't have no cast. What lurks deep in the water? Just tear don't out, say that. Tear out my page here real quick. It's not gonna happen anymore. Okay. I'll like no. wait. A, I'll like wait a beat and just be like boom to cast. Just like. <laughs> She, she, she screams a little bit. <laughs> See, who knows? Who comes up with the knife? Literally just I mean, told you I was feeling anxious. If you want something to happen, Kes, just go looking for loot. That normally works out well for you. <coughs> you know, like when we were half ah, fucking dying and I told you not to go towards the door and it turned out to be horrible. <laughs> I didn't go towards the door, in fairness. Only because I picked you up. It wasn't up. even my fault. Yeah, like a bag of potatoes. You are and much am lighter than a bag of potatoes. Aww, Unless it is a, like a half full bag of potatoes. I think brain can best you there. How? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a joke's kiss. Mm -hmm. This is what a large one's like when he's tipsy. <laughs> No, this is what I'm like when I can finally de-stress. Yeah, you've not had a great time recently. Yeah, you can tell me that. God. You've not had a great time recently. Yeah, yes. thank you. Thanks, Brooks. It's not been amazing, we'll say. You doing okay now? I mean, existential crisis here and there, just randomly. I have... It can be hard knowing your fate isn't your own control. Not even that. I mean, I've literally lost consciousness with battle a lot. I've been down yeah. on my last breath quite a few times and needed rescuing. And I mean, I'm not used you to You could that. just stop standing in the way of trouble. But then, when I'm not there, you guys tend to get turned out quite badly. No, you can be, just stand behind someone, both of you. I don't need to. You always jump in front of me. That's because I can take a punch to the face and you can't. What did you call me? <laughs> a small child that needs protecting. Cheers. Very emasculating of you. I, th I thought you were very comfortable in your own masculinity. Still don't like being called a small child. <laughs> <laughs> don't think anyone would appreciate that as a wild jab. But no. Mm. Hopefully this pirate ship would be nice, uh, but I, knowing us, there'll be probably some water elemental after us, because we have pissed one off. Or yeah, some, but there'll uh, be, or some there'll be at least some beast. point. You know, there'll be at least some points of travel where we can just chill out. So we're 100 getting stabbed in the back mid for this thing, right? Like, we're getting like betrayed. this war this or like mid pirate no, this, ship? Mid pirate ship, like we're getting betrayed, right? Like, that's how we've gone so far as we get betrayed. No, I think... Why, are you planning on betraying us? Spice things up, I might. Just a little I mean, may maybe one of the crew, but I mean, the, the captain has a repertoire with Jax, and it's true. But yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I think she's I trustworthy. Like, I think it's more past events that are making me, you know, distrust and anxious about sort of everything. Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll call it that, but it's fine. You know, just, it's, you know, it, everything is fine. Mm. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm sure. It's yeah, great. I mean, none of us have died yet, so. And if one of you guys do die, uh, that's why I need to go shopping tomorrow. I've, um, Father oh, Ackles. Can you do that cool thing now where you can, like, revive people? Um, Father Ackles taught me sort of how to do it, um. But I've never done it. Don't really know if it will work or not. But I... you want to practice? No, because I don't have what's needed. Also, that's okay. really fucked up to say that you're going to <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> to see if I... I mean, she didn't specify herself. To be fair, no. That is could true. be some random stranger. Mm -hmm. Again, really Does fucked it, up. Or it could be like a a lobster, maybe. I feel like it has to be. And then if you fail, you can eat it. Again, not feels like it's a waste of quite powerful magic just to see <laughs> if maybe, and also very expensive, by the way, very expensive to test if I could maybe do it when I'm, I think I can. 
That's what feel it in me. When it comes to whether or not you can save our lives, of course it comes down to money with you. But it's very expensive. <laughs> uh, How you expensive have is it? Three hundred gold per time. That's the diamond. same as my shadow spawn spell. I use as a diamond, not as a. Mine uses a, a crystal with tears inside. How'd you get tears inside a crystal? I don't know. That's why you it's so expensive. It. You could, no, but the gems are quite. I. You know what? <laughs> Something's <laughs> just not worth arguing. <laughs> I mean, I hate to tell you this. There's a wonderful thing called magic. Mm. No, but that's boring. <laughs> I can't you know, be it more explains a lot of things that, that normal physics wouldn't. Yes, but... You know, I'm subscribed to Genesis, I never bothered learning physics. physics. It was kind of a waste. Yes, I know, and oh, I can tell can every tell. time you do anything. Okay, are we, are we done with our existential crisis? Everything good? I mean... No, oh, but sure. Oh, oh, what do we talk about outside of uh, existential crises? <laughs> sort of give Elasrin like a like a pat on the back and like a half hug. That was the most awkward thing you've ever done with me, Brooks. <laughs> but I appreciate it. It's only sentiment. awkward because you were being awkward about it. No, I appreciate Kes, the sentiment all the same. Kes no. gives you like a tight hug from behind, so you just get like arms. It's like, it's not just... Is there a brief moment of, come oh god, they've got on. me? Relax, <laughs> relax into it. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, li li literally, it's the like... A second of thing, and then just a. <sighs> there you go. Do we See, need to go back and get the others, and we can just have a group hug around? I do not want a group hug. That's for <laughs> suffocating. No one has ever gone. I know what I need. What I'm feeling bad. A lot of people around me all at once. <laughs> yeah. Someone, someone mm -hmm. has surely. Well, probably, but do you know? Not you, and therefore, in your world, it doesn't yeah. happen. What's in my sphere of influence of people that I know? Am I in your sphere of influence right now? A step a bit closer. No, I meant no, I meant like people that I. <laughs> I'm talking to if you, you, if you or something, something right? else. When I was upset at home, I would just cause some kind of mischief. You could try that. Or I used to just go out and get drunk and late, so you could try that as well. Here is a great plan that I do: is I. I've had this little talk with you guys, I now bottle it up and never speak about it again. And that and is why your family later. is going loopy. What do you mean going loopy? They've gone loopy, my friend. At least that won't happen to you. Fantastic yes. news. Again, <laughs> who knows if we'll actually... See, I checked. You're welcome. Right. But... Did you know, is there leeway on that? Is it definitely Why, you 100%? Want to go crazy? No. <laughs> just, you know. Yeah, I mean, she's becoming I'm a hope of that... an expert on sick dads, so. <laughs> That's kind of true, actually. Didn't you say you were going to oh. do something about that? Yes, I did. So, um, turns out there might be a way to heal him. It just relies on a flower that has been in extent extinct for ages. So At it's a flower as, that doesn't as everyone exist knows. anymore. As far as anyone knows, there could be one. My... There, there could be. Okay, so we're going on a magical <laughs> fucking... Blue, Blue's looking a... into it for me, and when he finds out about it, then... Um, how do you guys feel about going to the... Point of air and looking around there for a bit. For a flower. It's going, we're gonna go flower picking. Yes. It's definitely on the plane of air. Probably. I think so. <laughs> when it's like in the plane of fire or water or something. Or like a plane no. of earth. It would make sense Why isn't there a flower. plane of mead or a plane of, you know... Because that's of, stupid. That's pretty stupid. A plane of everything you want and need right in front of you and therefore not having to do everything, any work. Everything yeah. is der derivative of the elements, so... Technically, I guess plane of mead would just be plane of water. And the plane of earth next. Thank you, mysterious voice. <laughs> From the sky. Well, now that we've all had a bit of a breakdown. I did, haven't had a breakdown. Oh shit, I think Elastrin's got a nosebleed. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> 
A large one. What the a large one. You got it. Oh, go okay. into that lamp post there. A large one. Go in, please. Yeah, go the fucking lamp post through that doorway, bro. Yeah. I think we were walking on the beach. How'd you hit the lamp post? Exactly. Uh, okay, no, a just like a large one just got swatted in the face by this like low flying seagull. Just. Go. <laughs> Cool. <coughs> Are we I sure that wasn't only in disguise? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He actually just got shot in the face by a hold on. I just got shot. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, that was God, so sad. Now, no, this is great. Hey, just fantastic. <laughs> oh, fuck us. <laughs> what happens when a last one gets hugged by a woman? Literally! <laughs> 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 oh, That's fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Look at him, dude. The funny, the funny <laughs> Jesus man got hugged by a girl and now he has a nose, please. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm collecting myself. Hold on. Are you? <laughs> yeah, anyway. I found it don't easily. Talk. Please don't touch. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. <laughs> I am going. Woo! To go swimming in the sea. Yes! <laughs> Let's get another fucking <laughs> tissue. I'll be right back. Oh, fucking ass. <laughs> we send the Lazarin back to the oh back to the God. pub to go to bed because oh, his face is in you. His face exploding! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is there anything okay. else you guys want to do before you go to bed? <laughs> 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 yes, go swimming. No, go swimming. Oh my god. Uh, oh fuck, I'm lightheaded. Do we drown? No, you're fine, dude. Shrimp's great. It's a great swim. It's the best swim we've ever had. It's the best swim we've ever had. And now, okay. I don't get a nosebleed while I'm swimming, alright? I don't think so. <laughs> Unless your nose suddenly just starts leaking for no reason. Like this. <laughs> His nose day out. Like, what this? Fuck. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse. Quiver. <laughs> oh god. Alasrin got jungle fever, bro. Oh my god. Alasrin, someone back. Oh, cast that page don't look badass. <laughs> Damn. You know the, the really high level monk ability that like kills you a week later? Oh my Is this god. what it looks like when it starts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, someone get a jug and do the nose, and then we'll know when he's lost enough blood to make a fire. I need to move on from this topic because I All right. don't survive. Jack's okay. getting up early the next day. Okay. When uh, I go to bed, Kez is gonna. <laughs> Kez is gonna disappear into Dashu's vessel. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. That's a conversation I want to have right now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Check up's done. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Nope. Yeah. Brooks goes to bed and enjoys his double bed. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep. Um, JK, I just go to bed. God fucking damn. <laughs> All right, uh, Kes, so you pop into Dashu's vessel. Mm. Are you hoping to catch him there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can everybody else deafen real quick then? Dumb bitch. <laughs> Twice in one session, baby. Fuck you. All right, um, you catch Dashu as he's kind of like standing on the beach, just kind of staring into the distance uh, over the water. Hey. Oh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't um, didn't hear you sneak in. Then again, I don't think I ever hear you sneak in. I'm very quiet. Sure. Um, what's uh, what's what's going on? 
You know when you offered to take a letter to my mother? Mm hmm I I wrote one. Um Good. There's just mm, I think you probably need some context before you go there. Um And I okay. don't know where to start with that, so you should read it and then ask me questions. Okay. Give me the give me the letter. She hands letter. It says exactly what it did before, but with love is now scratched out. Um. You seem. Well, first of all, I didn't know that it was this bad. Your mother <laughs> flinched every time she saw you. Y yeah. Um. Mhm. Mm the wet. She didn't see me much though. That was mostly um, when I was younger and couldn't disguise myself for myself. And yeah, then when so she told me the magic, she never you could really hide saw me. your blue skin, suddenly she started loving you. But before then, she wasn't a big fan. Well, she even then she didn't really see me that much. She mostly left, just left me in the high priestess's care and did whatever it is she did. So who raised you? Your mother or the high priestess? The high priestesses, pretty much. You can you can see that Dashu. Like, not really knowing how, of your upbringing and how you were raised, he just always kind of assumed that your mom, you know, <clears throat> took care of you. He just kind of like... You can see, like, his left hand kind of balls into a fist a little bit. You can see his arm kind of, like, tense up and, like, tremble. Okay. Um... I do not have the right to be upset or angry with her about this, but then again, you should be a lot more angry than you are currently portraying to be. Mm, that's what my friend said. I don't know, I guess I just never figured it was something I should be angry about. I don't really know any different. Well, aside from the other kids in the village, but I didn't really spend much time with them. Mostly just <clears throat> stayed in the cliffside. Well, then, um... I can get this letter to her, yeah, I, I, I will, but, um... It's none of my business. I, I'll, I'll, I can get this letter to her, if if that's what she wants. Yeah. I just think she should know that I'm alive. And oh, because suddenly she cares? Safe. I don't know. It's why I never really thought about it until you suggested it, I suppose. Well, well I didn't know that it was this bad, or else I would never have suggested it. It's not your fault. Okay, well, uh, I'll make sure the note gets there. You can see that he's kind of taken aback at learning how your mother treated you as a child. Um, he was not aware, and he he's visibly appalled by it. And then like, after, oh, well. like, he gets angry, and then immediately you can see this, like, this, like, you can you can read just regret of his odd on his face. Well, who knows? Maybe she'll never see me again. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? No, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I'll um, I'll deliver the message. Thank you. Boys. And he, like, kind of, like, goes in for a hug, but kind of, like, stops himself, and, um, never mind. And just kind of, like, slowly backs Ed out. gives him a hug. He immediately, like, goes in, grabs you, and, like, squeezes you. And <clears throat> as he kind of, like, pulls back, he just kind of, like, whispers that he, I'm sorry. There's nothing you could have done. 
would have if I would have been aware. Are you spending the night here, or are you going to your other place? Mm. I think I'll stay here. That's okay. Uh, if you want. I was uh, heading to sleep soon myself, but uh, sit here for a bit and just, you know, talk. Yeah. Do you want to hear about the time I put chickens in the high priestess's house? I would love to hear about the time you put chickens <laughs> in the high priestess's house. <laughs> so is that kind of what you do you, you tell some stories of like shit yeah. sh dumb shit Kess has done or not has not yeah. done but claim she's done uh, as she grew up mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay cool <laughs> Gregory he's busy having a nosebleed <laughs> yeah, Craig dickhead. his face is exploding Craig Okay. Welcome back, Craig. You're having a bleeding good time. <laughs> you know it. So, uh, the day, or the night passes, and the day comes, and... Day it's night. Uh, Jax, you wake up bright and early. Anything you want to do? Yo. Before um, everyone else is awake? <sighs> Did we say we are going to go to the shops together? Yeah. We are going together, Fuck. but we said we would go to the shop. Never mentioned going. We to didn't. I mean, Kess and Brooks spoke about going, like the two of them, to the trinket oh, yeah. shop. But bye bye. yeah, I was a bit off. Um, I want to look for like a library or maybe like an archival kind of place, something like that, along those lines. Um, <clears throat> we'll say that you kind of look around. And you don't find any shops that that uh, seem to be doing the book thing very much, uh, but <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess you could ask the guards or anything. Uh, yeah, I'll pull up. Uh, just find an nearest one. Like, um, excuse me, son. Morning. Uh, morning. Uh, is there a, a library around here or some kind of archive? Um, well, we don't really have a library or a bookshop in this city, but the the keep has a bunch of books um, that are public access. Uh, what is it specifically that you're looking for? Oh, I'm just trying to track down an old friend, and it may help me see if he purchased land somewhere or not. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go to the keep for that. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your help. No worries. And I guess I'll head on to the keep. All right. Uh, uh, as you head on to the keep, um, you see a bunch of blue sentinels. Uh, and as you enter, you can see behind a desk is a man just like shouting this morning's orders. Uh, a Goliath uh, wearing full plate, the, the you know the blue sentinel plate mail, so the white plate with the blue finishes and, and whatnot. Uh, a large sword hanging down his side. Um, <clears throat> and he'll look at you. Who are you? Uh, my, my name is, uh, Jax. I've been doing some work for Jax. General Cron. Jax, General Cron. Right, are you, you, you're part of that group that she's kind of, uh... uh yes, the ragtag fuckwits. The ragtag fuckwits. So are you just on your own, or is the rest of your group in town as well? Uh, they're around. I'm just Hold here on, on uh, running some business for us. Gotcha, um, gotcha. I, I need access to uh, the uh, library archive that you guys have here. What is it exactly that you're looking for? I'm looking for a name of someone that um, might need to be contacted as a part of our uh, undercover orders. All right. Well, given your history with uh, General Cron and the things you've done for us uh, as the Blue Sentinel so far, or, yeah, I can give you access. Um... I'll, I'll accompany you, if you don't mind, just to make sure, you know, pro stand the protocol and all that. Be fine. But, um, yeah, follow me. And he leads you upstairs, and you step into this, like, it's an archive. Like, records of names and, and all that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> what, what name are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for the name of, uh, uh Ricard Pierce, though. 
appear slow. Uh, yes. We'll be under the P then. Uh, it's alphabetical, so... Uh, somewhere on the shelf, uh, if they have a record of purchasing anything that requires them to legally sign a document for the Blue Sentinels to know, uh, it'll be found here somewhere. Uh, all right. And I'll uh, start looking through the peas. Oi, um, how long are you and your friends in, in, in town for? Um, ab about mm, two and a half days. Two and a half days. Uh, all right. Um, you got for any work, perchance? Because there's a couple of things, errands around town that, you know, if you, if you want to uh, fill those two and a half days and make some could money. could probably help out. All right, um, whenever you're, uh, uh, you, have you heard of the Three Sisters? Um, they they no. own the trinket shop in the shopping district. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Well, they um, get their magical items supplied by an artificer known as Halivara. Uh, he lives in a tower about half a day's march away from the city. Um, they 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 mentioned something of of uh, not having heard from him in a while, and two shipments. Have not arrived, and uh, they're looking for somebody to go to the tower and check it out. So, if that if that's something you're interested in, I think the, the the reward is quite handsome. So, if that's something you're interested in, shouldn't take too long. Just a quick house visit. Uh, in so we're just trying to see uh, what what happened to it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just uh, if that's something you're interested in, then please do uh, help them out. Uh, we were supposed to send some guards out, but uh, with with all that shit going on in the slums, we're just we're pretty. Occupied at the moment, so if we could outsource What's this. What's happening in the slums? What's not happening in the slums, to be honest? Um, <laughs> the slums uh, is completely. Well, officially it's a part of the city, but uh, it's no longer under Blue Sentinel control, let me tell you that. There's this group of criminals called the Black Anchor, a uh, group of ex pirates that, that rule the slums with fear and extortion. Uh, leader of the group called Fat Pate. We. I know a lot of the horrible shit he's done, but I don't have any concrete evidence, so I can't actually nick him. But I swear to you that I will make sure that man gets fa faces justice. Even if it's the last thing I'll do. It's, it's insane, the things that he gets away with. And I know for a fact that a lot of my men are on his payroll, and there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, what's going on in the does slums? That, Fuck loads. Uh, does that name ring a bell? Uh, the, the the black anchor. Uh, fat Pete. Fat Pate. Oh Pate. Oh, it actually is Pate. <laughs> yeah, Fat Pate. Uh, no, you reckon that it's probably an alias? Huh. I don't like that. <gasps> All right. So yeah, that's what's going on in the slums, and I've I've spent last, I don't know, four or five years. I got assigned general of this of this city about seven years ago, and five of those seven years I've spent trying my best to sort out what the fuck is happening in the slums, but no success so far. We, we, we were able to nick and arrest, you know, some of his men, but not him himself, so obviously, because they're in the slums... He's very good at covering his tracks, then. He is, and he's a bunch of men and women that just admits to the crimes that he's done for him, you know? So there's never... It's it's fucking horrible, and because they operate from out the slums, a lot of people will do anything if it means they get a bit of a bit of money their way, because it's the, the, the poor. There's just not much to go around there, so they just keep recruiting and recruiting, and it is, it's the bane of my existence. Right. Um, perhaps we can help with that too if we have enough time. I've spent the last five years working on it, uh, so I doubt a couple days uh, will do. Maybe when you get back from whatever business it is, uh, maybe next time you're here, you're here longer, perhaps. But um, until then, short term, see if if you want to make some money or whatever it is reward that they're that they're paying out. Three sisters that shouldn't shouldn't be too long. It's just a house visit, making sure that Alivara is okay. Sounds good. Um, <clears throat> all right, then I'll get back to looking for uh, Ricard. All right. Um, make an investigation check. Not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, plus eight, so nineteen. Okay. You find a folder 
with that name on it. Okay. You find records of him purchasing a home in Porto Nilo, which checks out. Um, but you also find a record of, of him purchasing another property in Porto Nilo. But the date doesn't match up. Because as far as you know, that entire town got destroyed when the incident happened. But the date of this property purchase is only about three months ago. Okay. So he's purchased something, some ground, or there. Three months Does it ago. say what it the ground is? Uh, it just it just listed as a plot of land. There's some like um, uh, some like just number referring to the area or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. That is as good as a lead as you're gonna find. That's better than I thought I'd find. So mm. I'll take it. Um, after that, I guess I'll go see if everyone's around or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, the, the the Goliath general will will escort you out. Uh, hope you found what you were looking for. It's it's a lead. All right. Well, good luck with your investigation. And um, yeah, I mean, see you around. Maybe not. Whatever. It sounds good. I'm sure we'll be back in town at some point. All right. Have a good one. You too. And I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, you were an early riser, so by the time you get back, that's about when the rest of the group wakes up. Uh, except for Kess, I guess. Kess would have been awake already, but would not have caught you dipping out. So now that you're all kind of together, uh, breakfast you paid for in advance. So you have some have food. Some it's like it's like a it's like a buffet kind of thing. So you kind of just walk around and there's like, oh, no, no bread rolls, oh, yeah, oh eggs, oh, bacon. Baby. <laughs> yeah, but they come eggs. eggs. Yeah, everything. Anything and everything. All of it. Breakfast. Things. Anything you want to have for breakfast, you'll have, bro. Yo. <clears throat> croissant. 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 <laughs> you're gonna finish that croissant? Um, is there anything you guys wish to discuss or do while you're having your uh, your brekkie? Oh, um, we've been My offered God. a potential job. Go on. Uh, uh, apparently, there's some artificer who supplies the trinket shop, uh, the three sisters. Um, and he's kind of gone AWOL. So they just want to see if he's okay. So we just have to go like a half day's journey and check in on him. You have to travel? Well, we, maybe we could rent some horses for the day and it'd be quick. Can we do it tomorrow? Yeah, I... I mean, we probably could. I mean, the money would be nice. But yeah. I also really just want a day where we don't have somewhere to travel. We don't have shit to do. I think it's important for most, if not all of us, to have a day of just unwinding. That's right. We don't have to do it per se. It's just an option. Um, I do know I need to do some shopping and um, we're not. So. Yeah, I mean, shopping. Um, the fucking, honestly, the sound of getting a fucking decent bath and a massage show pretty fucking good. Oh, yeah. But thing. do we want to do we want to do that <clears throat> first thing, or do we want to go around whatever fucking shops you want to look around and then come back and do that and then go to the beach or we, well, we should go around the spa after the beach? Yeah, yeah. best to do the spa towards the end so we're nice and relax. We don't want to get all relaxed and start doing stuff. Maybe we yeah, do the shopping and then, and then nice hang and out at the beach for the afternoon and then have like an evening spa. Yeah. Sounds I was going far before I went to the beach, but well, that's the wrong way to do that. That is the wrong way to do that. Yeah, well, okay. the wrong way. 
Anyway, let's um, let's go do our shopping first. Let's get the busy work out the way, shall we? Shopping time. Shopping time. Are you heading, are you heading to the three sisters? <laughs> yeah. We're in uh, the port district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First. That's cool. You are, yes. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. I'm allergic to D&D shopping episodes. <laughs> um, before we head over to the other shops, mm -hmm. I would like to go to the... Uh, the Dragon Turtle Fishing Company. Okay. Uh, like even though section. it's only just like the morning, this place is already insanely busy. They're like unloading ships, Buzz. loading up ships, no. and all that shit. Um, <clears throat> you do uh, run into um, a human man. You had to guess. He's like in his in his forties, a sun kissed skin, uh, bald head, wearing like a blue and white set of of robes. Uh, you don't work here. What uh, what can I what, what can I do for you, sir? No, I don't work here. Um, I I was speaking to Josiah yesterday, and uh, mm -hmm. he said that you lot might be the place to come if I wanted to uh, buy some fishing rods before I head out on, on a long boat trip. Yeah, uh, we we typically don't really sell our own supply of fishing rods as competition and all that, but uh, well, what what kind of trip are you going on uh i mean we're going on a on a fairly long sea voyage it's mm. just something to kill the time once we you know dock up somewhere else make a persuasion check Ooh. Ooh. 23 23 all right um how about do, do you know roughly where you're headed? I has everyone come with me or am I on my own? I'll come with you. I would come with you if we were all leaving together. We would have, if you said you need to quick stop, we okay. would have gone fuck it. I will look towards the others. <laughs> I don't remember where we're actually going other than we're going on the ship. No. Going on a cruise, right? Just roundabout and coming back. All right. Well, never mind then. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I suppose I can give you a few rods. Would would three suffice? Three would be would be brilliant. Right. Um, do you require bait and and all the sorts as well? I mean. If you've got some kicking about that you don't mind selling me, if not, I'm sure I can sure. Uh, scavenge something. Hand me five gold and I'll give you three rods and enough bait to last you a few days. I will hand him five gold. And he goes and gets the supplies for you and hands them to you. Don't cool. usually do business like this, but uh, what the hell. Well, I will not tell a soul that you sold me fishing rods. Sounds good to me. And I will head out. Alrighty. Anywhere else you want to go, or are you going to the shopping district now? I think we're all good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> That's because I spotted I think... actual jewelers on the way to the shopping district, but I doubt so. You won't. I think jewels, from That's what I saw when we were strong. there, it'll be either Trinket Place or maybe the general goods guy. No, I prefer trinkets. They'll have. You took my agates. He took your what? <laughs> Isn't the thing that is on three laces? Oh, no, it's aglets. Sorry. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Alright, so you're... Is there any... Like, is there anything outside of the ordinary we see as we run around? Not really. It's a pretty... It's a, it's a busy day. Uh, but you get the sense that it's kind of just always busy here due to the insane amount of like ships that come in and that brings people that are also you know gonna go on off the ship and get on shore for a bit and it's it's a busy town in in that uh, regard. Um, but nothing really that screams out of the ordinary. Okay. 
So as you get to uh, the three sisters trinkets, um, you walk in and it's 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 very big. This is like a shopping mall level size, just shelves oh, yeah. upon shelves with with all kinds of magical trinkets, potions, ingredients, gemstones, whatever it is you can think of, they'll probably have uh, magical books, scrolls, pff, you name it, they have it. Uh, you get approached by a uh, purple-skinned tiefling with black eyes and ram-like curled horns. Bunch of jewelry kind of hanging and dangling around. Good morning, my name is Chiri, uh, one of the three sisters. What can I do for you today? I have the need of diamonds worth around 300 gold pieces. Of course, how many would you like? Uh, two. Two? Yes, we can um, uh, get that sorted for you. Anything else? I mean, I would, instead of straight coin, I would be willing to trade those for this um, necklace. And I'll pull necklace. out the silver jewelry box mm -hmm. and take out that topaz necklace. And say, yes, this is worth about 650 gold. Um, obviously, just 600 would be, you know, good to trade for it. You can still get your mark up. Should look at it. Make a persuasion check. Yeah, it's only worth 550. <laughs> oh, is it? Make a deception check, then. <laughs> oh, what a scumbag. Shouldn't have said that. Fucking cleric of trade out here just straight up lying about the value of stuff. No, I'm having to make a profit on the item that I have procured. I want to make a maximum. So, if I got something like a natural one, for example... <laughs> you drop it and it shatters. It was actually glass. Fuck! <laughs> well... Sorry, sorry. I. The thing is, I could make a nice profit of this, uh, even though it's worth a little less than you're making it out to be. But I guess not everybody knows their jewelry that well. It's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, th 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 we would get this enchanted or worked on by our by our artificer. But there might be a little bit of a delay on that. But um, I. Uh, Sorry, I forgot to mention I was including the box in the price as well. Sorry, was that not? All right, so well, regardless, the um, best I can do for now, due to the delay that we're having with our artificer because of some shipments running late, um, I can give you. If you throw in a hundred and no two hundred gold with this, I can give you the two diamonds. Pain. Okay. Don't you have like <sighs> seven hundred fucking jewels? Don't worry. So, <laughs> is that just the necklace by itself you are asking for this price? Yes. So if I include this box that it came with, how much? What's the what's it. like the value of that? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. <clears throat> yeah. A hundred and fifty gold. Would still be required. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of I have a lot of random fucking gems that have very arbitrary amounts on them. This one doesn't even have a fucking amount on it because it was a. Oh, we'll figure out that later. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Great. I mean, we do yeah. buy we buy gems. So if you have more. I mean, I do have quite a few gems, but I don't know if I want to give you my gem. I mean, I've got like onyxes, but you know they're pretty. Worthless. Um, and also, I like the look of them. Um, I don't know about these ones though. And I'll have, I will pull out the um, geode like rock that I got from Lake Adina, mm -hmm. of which I'd never got given a monetary value for. Because <laughs> um... it's just a random fucking gem rock. I'll be real, that's completely like uncut and completely just like. Sure, look at it. Uh, we'll have to crack raw this. material. We'll have to crack this first to see what's inside and uh, refine. Oh, it's a, it's a bit of a gamble. Um, ten gold. Yeah, it's also no. I'll keep that myself. I got these uncut gems. These uncut gems. Um, Yo, where's Adam Sandler? All right. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah. That's Again, I can't keep that. Yes, I'll, 150, yes, for the... Correct. 
looked at the box and like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. I'll call my fucking losses and run at this point. Fucking swindon motherfuckers. <laughs> I say this to myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give them 150 gold. Yeah. The fucking necklace. <laughs> and. <clears throat> Alright, and here is your two diamonds. Enjoy. Oh. Well, hopefully I won't have to use them for a while. Oh, they're for that purpose, are they? Well, you know, th th it's good to have a few, th you know, at the ready, just in case. Yep. So are you the adventuring type then? Uh, judging by the fact that you need those diamonds? I would say so, but... this And this is your, your, your group of compatriots? Oh, you're the one that put out the bounty. Uh, not so much a bounty sort of. per se, but we're looking for someone to help Reward us, money. yes. So... His if thing was sort of was sort of on holiday, mm -hmm. right? So taking a day off today. All right. But like tomorrow, tomorrow. we might be a bit more, you know, yeah, that's energized. Fine. Um, that, that's fine. Uh, so I don't know if it's like need this now, like done now. Probably well, not the best just, group. Well, it is just like I mentioned before. It is our our, our artificer is not really made any made any shipments lately. He's he's late on. Uh, we're supposed to, we we're supposed to get a shipment of goods on a weekly basis and we have not gotten any for the past two weeks um and normally he checks in once a week as well comes to visit uh, talks to us lets us know you know the things he's working on and all that and we haven't seen him for two weeks and um as far as travel goes we have a teleportation circle upstairs that we use to just instantly transport goods back and forth and, and people as well so um if interested um the reward to, to to check on him and make sure he's all right and get our business going again uh is that um each person that helped with the job will get a free magical trinket item uh from our stock uh you know obviously up to a certain price limit i'm not going to give you ten thousands worth of goods but you know something that is a little more agreeable um so a magic item each, which is a pretty good paycheck for us to yeah, get the business record. What's what is the price range we're looking at? Or is this all depending on what we find? It and... depends, obviously. Um best case scenario. So yeah, I'd say five, six hundred gold. And worst each. case? Worst case. Let's say three. Pretty agreeable terms. So it's 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 a good uh, most jobs that pay money will not get you this much. So no, no. it's very important to us that our that our business keeps going because I mean it's our livelihood. Me and my sisters we we've run this shop for a very long time and um, Halivara in his tower has is is uh, never disappointed us and never gone dark on us like this. So we're. We're also a bit worried because he's a good friend of ours and a friend of the family, you see? So we would we would definitely appreciate. And the guards are so busy with, with all that stuff going on in the slums that this just keeps getting put back and put back and... Which is why we're reaching out to uh, mercenaries, I suppose. Well, we will... Come back tomorrow. That's fine. Yeah, we can yeah. do that tomorrow. Um, yes, I must say... Especially if there's a teleportation circle. Yes, just yes, say it's taking... Instant. It's a, a small break at the hard. moment. That's all right. But we'll be more happy to. Right. All right. Well, um, anyone else wants to do some business, some peddling? Uh, me, 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 me. Can I do a few miss? Uh, I have these two knives, and I'll pull out the human bone one and the one with the rat skull pommel. She'll look at it, and she'll just go. Happy? And another purple tiefling. Identical to the woman that has been helping you. Shows up. Yes, Jerry? Take a look at this. Good ideas, Brooks. <laughs> what is this made of? Because it is bone. But. No. Size and identity and so it's very people like. Oh, 
I want to pray to to point out that we did not make this. I would hope not. No, N never. Jesus Christ! I don't think we're interested in this. No, oh, man. But if you have anything else to peddle, uh, well, we can't roll around and then. sell a, a knife made of human bones. That's just that's asking for trouble. There must be some weird like magic spell that requires it. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Anything else? Oh. Well, I have one with a rat skull in it. How about we just put put bone, the bone things and the red skulls and the animal I, parts aside? And... and I have nothing else. Okay. Well, you're looking to buy something? Um, see, I think the rat one's actually pretty cool. It is really cool. Well, then you can give it to your friend. Look at that. Yeah, Purpose found for cool. the, the rat pommel blade. We ever go to slums, Kirsten? I'm sure there's someone there who bought a rat dagger. Yeah, they'll yeah. probably stab you with it right after they buy it off you to get their money back. They also yeah, probably won't give first. you very much money because they're in the slums. Yeah, that's, that's also, also true. Anyway, although I suppose there's, you know, there'll Favors. probably be some sort of organized crime. Huh? Oh, is there? Um, any else? Anyone else? Anything? Oh, is there? Hmm. I, I do have two gems. Uh, hmm. I have this emerald and a ruby. Uh, Around the value of 150 gold. Uh, I can part with them for 110. What's the actual value? 150 gold. Oh, you can, you're not lying? Okay, make a persuasion check. Mm -mm. Should have fucking done persuasion, said deception. But here we go. So, um, it's a natural one. <laughs> Alright, so we can definitely no. use these, but 110 is a bit out of our price range. Would 85 sound agreeable? 90. <laughs> I'm sure we'll do 90. They're okay. fucking swindlers, bro. I'll give them to him for 90. Okay, so you get 90 gold and you hand over the gems. Um, are you interested in purchasing anything? We have a, a variety of, of magical trinkets, uh, ingredients, materials, uh, scrolls. Anything um, I can do for you? Or your friends, for that matter? What kind of rings do you have? Kind of rings. Let's me have a look. Oh, it's gonna be the fucking mirror rings I've got on my hand. Ones for your fingers, I would assume. Although not guaranteed, actually, it is a magic shop. It could be for your toes. The levitating cock ring. Jesus. I have um, a couple of rings. Uh, some some protection rings. Uh, There's one nifty ring that lets you walk on water. If that's something you're looking for. Uh, some resistance rings, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, a plethora. Uh, what is the price if range on uh, the protection ones or the uh, water one? Uh, the water walking ring will set you back about 500 gold pieces. Uh, the protection ring is a little more expensive. It's 2,000 gold pieces. Mm hmm. Hmm. I know I'm not have normally the most. Time. I know I'm not normally the most fiscally responsible. Mm -hmm. But if we're gonna do the thing tomorrow, is it maybe worth not buying anything today? Mm. That makes sense. If you are going to help us with our little little, uh, obviously, if you don't find an item or if we don't present you with an item that you like, we could also just transform that into store credit. Or get more diamonds for our holy man. Or that. I feel like I've wasted my money then, okay? If I knew I could get them, you know. <laughs> it's well, only a waste if none of us die. That's true. I mean... It's a waste if you... Read, if you not that that was, to like, the whole point, point of that is, it's like, it's it's something you want to have just in case, but it's like you never want it I to actually happen, right? I was being facetious. <laughs> I'm sorry, mister. He blows himself up way too much for us not to need diamonds. Think right, I'm good. Well, we'll probably wait till tomorrow. I don't suppose you guys are happen to sell any explosives. <laughs> not so there's no explosive. He is banned do from not. buying them, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, law. Do you have Contraband. We do have some explosive, actually, and she'll, like, call don't out. <laughs> call out again. Uh, and she'll just go, uh, Giddy! And a third Giddy. purple tiefling. That looks identical, so you have Happy, Giddy, and, che and Cheery. 
They're all they identical. Wearing the same things as well? They're wearing the same clothing. They're, they look the yeah, exact same. Sneezy and Doc and... Yes? You're looking for some explosive explosives. Oh, that's that's more my cup of tea. What are you looking for? You throw balls, uh, uh, things you attach to something. Uh, you're just looking for black powder. I would be interested in anything you have that goes boom. That's a lot. Don't give him explosives. I'm warning you. Don't, don't we're not going to be purchasing stuff. until tomorrow because he is a menace to society. I'll, I'll just give you a little a little taste of a. Just give me the the. Yeah. We have grenades, we have uh, black powder blankets that are useful when it comes Ooh. to, uh, it's an, an invention from the, the Empire, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, rare commodity, but it's found their way, it's are they, way are here. Are they branded? And, uh, the black powder blankets, they brand it? They're, they're not, but I they're basically know. used, you, you <laughs> say you really want to get into a place, right? Like you're the adventuring type, you, you get... You, you find this abandoned castle that you want to explore, but there's no way inside. With a blanket on the wall, light, you know, light it up, and you you back off, boom, there's your entrance. It's great. Yeah, it's we've phenomenal. done that before. It's phenomenal. Well, Not you subtle, but could uh, definitely be worth Explosives purchasing. are never subtle. Then, I also have this special thing that I've... That I've I'm, I'm a bit of a... Before Ali Vlada went uh, radio silent, so to say, what's the radio? I don't know, shut the fuck up. Uh, is um, <laughs> well, he, went, he was working uh, on these grenades that, that working on these Send grenades inside. that um, instead of like blowing up with the usual explosives, it would just release like a like a gas of some sorts, put people to sleep. Call them sleeping grenades. That's something we're working on as well. And I have a couple uh, of how prototypes. Much are those? Sorry, uh, how much do you charge those? Uh, sleeping grenades, sixty gold each. I'll take two right now. Okay. Is that for when we can't sleep at, at night? <laughs> when instead of the instead of the cover, when dementia milk. keeps me up. <laughs> yeah, so basically, <laughs> can't remember you, have, whether you get or not two sleeping grenades, and they're basically just like a. It's like a portable like sleep spell that you can just chuck, and and anyone hits in the area of effect is just immediately. The victim of the sleep spell. Is that an actual item you've made, or should I just make a custom one? I just make a custom item for now, and I'll make it. So okay. I'll make sure to make it before next time. Uh, nerds. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, cool. unless anyone else needs something now, we'll just uh, shelve this conversation for tomorrow then, and uh, potentially see you for uh, this uh, this little job. We How have. much would you give me for a cup of water breathing? Uh... Don't sell that. Oh, uh, I suppose. I don't need it. No, he really don't. We're literally going on an ocean trip. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, but she breathes underwater, doesn't she? Oh, she's a bitch. I, I can probably, I don't know, like 150 gold, maybe? Done. All right. Are you really that hard up for cash right now? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, she, you get 150 like gold and you hand her the cap of water breathing. You only have 120 gold. Yeah. Uh, with that, uh, is there anything else you want to do there, or are you guys gonna just kind of yeah. hit the town, hit the town running? Um, I want to make a quick stop at the Forge Place because I got some things to sell. Fuck, I'm trying to end the session here. So, oh god. I know, uh, I know. It's, I can, we can make it quick. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because so you go to the um, Forge. I'm just gonna list off like what the things are worth because I need to get them out of my bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I have a set of half plate that's worth 750 gold. Okay. I have. Scale mill that's worth 50, so that's 800. Mm -hmm. Then I have, because some fucks did this while I was gone, they shoved a chain shirt worth 50 gold. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I have a hand, a heavy, and a light crossbow, all worth 150 gold with all three. So that's 1,000 gold with all of the items. So, like, you want to get rid of, like, roughly a thousand gold worth of shit? Yes. Yeah. Uh, How much are they going to give him? I'll probably be able to give you 700 gold for the lot. Uh, How about 800? 750. Deal. All right. So you hand, hand them all your my shit. My boy's fucking rich. <laughs> you get handed my boy's rich you get all handed, the shit that we put uh, in 70 platinum and 50 gold. You know, put your shit in my bag next time, motherfucker. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so it it's still very early in the day. Me. You've done some of your shopping and all that stuff. Uh, we'll end it here and pick this up next week. Hell yeah. And next week, hey, I'm right. we're going to have I'm guests. assuming my... Pog! Yeah. Unless we delay the session again. I will Golf. fucking beat you.
<laughs> I mean, I hate to tell you this, Dutch. What? It's a possibility. Unless the guest is the artificer. Next week we're having the guest. Did I stutter? I don't think so. What if what if we don't go anywhere? I'll Just make stay on the beach. Fucker. You Whatever you do next week, we have a guest, and where and how you meet will just depend on what you end up doing. It's that simple. They're going to be the, the masseuse. We have uh, yes. the, 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 fish the illusion of choice in our role playing game. This fucking poor guest has had to wait like <laughs> months because of the They've been waiting in the wings for two months. Shut the fuck up. I'm We're having a guest next guess. week. Ooh. All right. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, everybody. <laughs> Shadow, thanks for the 12 months. Bopo, thanks for the 400 biddies. We appreciate <laughs> you. Again. It's a guest guest DM. DM. Uh, I fucking wish. Up. Ask for no, discourse uh, this Thursday. There's only four of us here. I know Soko's probably super busy, right? Um, well, I work from like 2 to 8 o'clock every night. Yes. Quick, yes. Yes. So you start right so, as we want to do discourse. Right, okay. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Cringe. Um, Sorry. You will be. Do I go for the fucking... Chaos duo this week, which is that being, Craig and being Beth. Craig and Bell. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that me and Bell? Hang on. Yeah, you guys down? Yeah, I'm yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll have you guys on this. It might be it might be a little bit slightly later. Stop. I'm um, I'll just let you know. Sure. Unacceptable. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. I I work <laughs> full time. Alrighty, gamers. Lame. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll be back next time. week with uh, session thirty nine. Have a good night. Peace out. Bye-bye. Take care. Don't get nosebleeds. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like...